then why does it matter? Yeah, if it's stationary, I don't think it's so less. But just in general, these, these types of stories, these fairy tales, like, why did they become, like, become creative? Like, there's a reasoning behind it. It comes down to the biological and the reproductive aspects of it, right? right. But, and people just stick to that, and that's what's been the normal, right? So it's like being able to reproduce man and woman, that's been what would be considered normal, and I, I'm saying this as a lack of better terms, um, this is something that's being more introduced now. So as it's being more introduced, it just seems to be in brighter colors now that we're seeing it. And a lot of people are still like not getting used to it because the normal is man, woman, because of reproductive, uh, you know, things. I mean, that I, I mean, I'm not denying that, but I'm saying that like the ink, the, influx of representation isn't negative because it's just showing the different types of people exist in the world and that shouldn't be a problem May I repeat that showing 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 the different people that exist in the world shouldn't be a problem oh yeah no i'm not saying that should be a problem That's a like point. i'm not like my my what i'm saying is simply that the reason those stories began was because of it and this is something that's like even though it's been common in history that i guess like someone said don't use normal use typical that's just been what's you know been typical overall and people are still used to that and accustomed to it and we got to remember in the united states this is something we're open to but in other countries they're not i mean can i jump yeah. in real quick sure mm -hmm. I mean, it's not my life. That, that I mean, normal or typical is is who, what, when, where, and why. Just because it's typical to your culture or your region does not mean it's typical anywhere else. But we're talking about man, a man and women being together. I, I, I don't think that has to do with culture. It has to do so, with so humanity. But so, but so am I, though. So am I. Like, you could take anything that you bring up in this conversation and when you use the words typical, it has to be measured by the lens of who, what, and why. But to me, that doesn't really matter because, you know, fiction is not real. So you can put anything in it because it doesn't, it's not real. I wanted to say something real quick because I was hearing what Jade was talking when he was talking about the like, I I, I know y'all passed it, but just to it's throw it J in, wait, wait, JD, wait, when you JD by the way, like I know everybody's saying J. Like, my bad, my bad. All right, yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. I think what he meant was with the romanticizing. You know, there's kissing involved, right, in cartoons and stuff. I I think mm -hmm. he left out that point. That that that's a big thing. They don't show kissing on the cheek in kid shows, or they don't show hugs yes, they and do. high fives. Yes, they show they kissing. Do. Yeah, no, hold on. No, no, that, that's a yeah, good point. That's still not sexual. Kissing on itself is not sexual. It's not, se not kissing? sexual. No, Come on, kissing is nah. not. So no, it can lead to. No, no, kiss, give me one second. Simply boy. simply kissing or pecking somebody on the on the cheek is not sexual. I'm very confused why you guys no, are no, not pecking on the cheek, but kissing. kissing. No, I, I, I don't even mean cheek. I could even say lips. Are you saying pecking or kissing somebody on the lips automatically you is sexual? No, that ain't right. Come on. I'm not asking you, Jay. I'm asking you, Street. I, yeah, I think that is sexual kissing on the lips. Oh, okay, so we should anybody? denounce. Yeah. Should, so okay, if that's if that's the case, then should we denounce like all the cartoon Nickelodeon and Disney shows and movies? Like like the no, no, movies? I'm not. I'm not saying that. I just wanted to point that up as a point that I think was missed because okay, let, let, would you say hi to your friend by kissing them on the lips? I'm sorry. What? Would you say hi to your friend by kissing them on the lips? Uh, no, because no. I don't romantically see them that way. I would oh, only so kiss it's romantic. Somebody. Now it's romantic, right? So kissing is romantic. I literally, oh, that's li no, no, Street, but that's literally, that's literally what I said. I said that's romantic. When I brought up the example with JD, and he was saying that it was like something about sexual, I was saying romantic is like holding hands, kissing, like pecking each other, kissing on the lip. That's just romantic. It turns out it's to be intimate, sexual. It's intimate and sexual. It's all the same thing. It leads to something else. You don't kiss somebody on the lips for no reason. Not really. always. Not all. Not. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm. 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 I'm laughing because intimacy, no, I get it, I get romantic it. intimacy, is not always going to turn out to be sexual. Me hey, yo, the, 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 to kiss this somebody is my on the opinion. Lip. And this is your opinion. So the the like I I get what you're saying. It's just that people view things different. When I see two people kissing on screen or whatever, it, so I mean, not to say it's going to get down and dirty right there, but I mean, you're showing affection more so than just like holding hands. Is it's a lot more. Okay. Right. So, so is it what if I were to kiss somebody like okay, and we've all seen it. 
somebody pecking each other or kissing each other on the lip uh, in public, does that mean that they're being inappropriate? Because or like, uh, it's sexual. I would say so. As, as a person with kids, yeah. I don't like I, I don't like when people do that outside. I really okay. Don't. So you you just like you don't like PDA period. Like you feel like it's like the the a display of affection is just weird. So here's no, the thing. Not, I mean, right? just for kids, just for kids. I don't think kids should be seeing that at all. So, so you, we are having so a conversation. My question was, my question was to you and JD, should we denounce all the kids shows that have kissing on the lips then? In my opinion, yeah. Okay. So I can, kids I can shows, yeah. yeah. You're talking like yeah. kids for like little babies, like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like, ten. We're talking yeah, about sure. every, every, every show. So Sleeping Beauty, Snow White. I mean, but those are kids' movies. Those are movies for kids, for toddlers. Like, why do they need to see kissing? I guess because so it's part of the story. Like, it's part of the story. She's, say, like, she's if literally you're awoken by a situa- kiss of true uh, love. Both times. It, you got, so y'all having goes. this conversation in English, nature. a lot of it is going to be, like, uh, confusing because in English, the English is the youngest dumbest language. People confuse romance, intimacy, affection, love. They confuse all these things with being the same thing. They are not. They're not. Who, what, when, where, and why? Who, what, when, where, why? I've seen grandmothers kiss their grandsons on the lip and not be sexual and not be, in, you know, you know, like if you're going to talk about these things, you have to have a specific lens and not just generalize them, you know, because then it just you're going to find contradictions and, and flaws in what you believe. No, but you're talking about a whole different situation. We're talking about a man and a woman or a woman and a woman, man and a man kissing on screen in a movie, in a kid's movie. We're not talking about a grandmother and her grandkids. Yeah. And in the privacy of their home. (laughs) But... So, wait, wait, wait. wait. So, you're so... No, let me put... No, that's funny, though. That's funny, though. So, are you saying, like... Like I said, you already clarified with PDA, but even in the, like... Would you still say that somebody simply showing affection by simply kissing, you know, their, not even just grandchild, but romantic partner on the lip and then not leading anywhere is still considered sexual? Yeah, I would say so. So what if, what if both, what if- And both I'm saying the only people, reason you can make that argument is by using a specific example, but when you branch out of your specific example, your argument makes no sense. That's what I'm a, trying to get you to understand. I have a question. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait. You're, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're just throwing a bunch of what ifs. I mean, we, we could throw what ifs all day. Like, well, what if it starts raining acid tomorrow? I don't I'm know, man. Can we it, like, you you are, you're, you're saying what happened if it's a grandmother and a grandkid. What I'm just not speaking in general terms. I'm not throwing what ifs. I'm just not speaking in general terms because I understand the intersection of who, what, when, where, and why. We were just talking about romantic partners in movies. You're bringing up a grandkid and her grandmother. Like, how random is that? That that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. The point to romantic, intimate, affectionate are different things. So let's reel it back a little bit. Let's reel it back. We're talking specifically about romantic affection, right? So what it's not sexual if so hypothetically what if the two people that came, that shared a romantic kiss were both asexual that wouldn't be sexual because they don't feel sexual feelings so it's romantic not sexual oh wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry say that again I, I I really didn't catch what you were like if two asexual people are in a romantic relationship and they and they share a kiss that's not sexual because they don't feel sexuality it's a romantic it's a romantic relationship how does it's a romantic relationship. What is what does romance lead to? What's the point of romance? Romance is not romance is it's not just inherently about like I said earlier, romance itself is not like I think going scientifically it is I, I don't think but okay, no sci- we're not talking agree. scientifically. We're talking socially. So there are people who are who don't Okay, so if you do it sexual. socially, if you're saying if you're basing it off of society, then romance definitely is for the purpose of coitus. Okay. Is this gold? Yes, but not. But what about again? But what about asexuals? It sounds like gold. So you're so you're erasing asexuals. It's just not romantic if they're doing it because it's not a romantic. It, 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 they have no intention of that. No. Yeah. So asexual simply doesn't mean simply means that they're not they're not going they're not inherently sexually like intimate. They're not. That's not something that they're focused on. Uh, okay, but they're not focused on it, but they're doing it for that purpose. They're they they're no, they're not. No. They're not. You can feel romance. You can feel yeah. without 
being sexual. Yeah, yeah. that's the point. But then, both, you can, you can you can't tell by looking at somebody if they're asexual. That's why, that's that's why I say that romance within stuff. itself is not going to always lead to sexual intimacy. There is type. There is a lot of types of um, you know romantic affection that somebody shows that is not inherently sexual. Like I, I said, somebody. I think people don't understand. I'm not that saying you can, that you, you are, but that's that's the argument that JD and Street are trying to make. So let me say this one more time. You know, we can continue the conversation. I just feel like we are going a little bit in circles. I do believe that there's a difference between showing romantic affection and sexual, like, uh, intimacy and affection. Somebody simply kissing or pecking somebody on the lips in public in movies or kid shows or not does not mean that it's inherently going to be sexual at all. I think there's actually a, uh, a difference or possibly even a fine line between what's sexual and what's just, you know, simple affection or romantic affection. But we have to define and actually uh, clarify that those two are different. To like try to like uh, clash the two together is the reason why we're having this argument in the first place, which is funny because that's exactly. not even what any of these are up here for. I, that's not something that I was even trying to go to. My entire point was homophobia is not actually fear. And that's it. So I don't know how we got on this conversation. I really don't know, but here we I, are. Actually, I wait, I, 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 I wanted to ask the person who brought up the asexual. How can you tell somebody's asexual? Because you can't tell by looking at them. That's something they have to say. So what does that mean to somebody who doesn't know that of the two people who are kissing? Well, to, well, to be, well, I'm saying in general, like in any, in any situation, obviously in a, in a, um, in a, media that is made that is Look. produced for for children oh, then there's no there's no there's not going to be any sexual elements because it's supposed to be child friendly mm-hmm. so if they introduce a romantic a romantic relationship obviously nothing sexual is going to be in the equation even if it's implied by okay so say for instance um say for instance like two like two characters are um Two uh, two adult characters are the parents of of a child character, right? Because most people have parents, so um, that would imply that they had that they had intercourse to have that child. But obviously, they're not going to show that, or they're not going to mention that. So that's not sexual. It's just a romantic. They just understand that their parents are in a romantic relationship. They're married or whatever. Or maybe mm-hmm. they might have a new. They might have. They might introduce a new character that is a newborn baby. That implies mm-hmm. that intercourse happened, but they're not going to show it or mention it because obviously it's for kids. It's, now, gonna, what if they were adopted? I mean, I, I just got to throw that out because you brought up asexual. Like, what if they're adopted? That means they didn't if have they're, any if sexual they're, if they're If they're adopted, then that would be part of the story, obviously. But if they intend them to be biological children, they're probably going to write that into the story. I mean, too. if they're not bringing up the sexual intercourse, why would they bring up the adoption? Because... Wait, what are y'all talking about? Asexuality. No, I'm just saying. That I bring that up because you brought up asexual. I'm sorry. If you're, if you're gonna bring up something like that, I gotta bring up something that, that that's inclusive to what you're saying. So you're saying that showing a kid in, in a TV show would imply the parents had sexual intercourse. No, they could have adopted the kid. No, showing a biological. Huh? So if they if they if they if they share, if they maybe share, I'm confused. I don't know what the fuck we're, what conversation we're on right now. I really don't. We're talking I really about. Don't. Hype, hype, Hypothetically, in in the set in the setup of media, that um that ro- romance exists and it is implied, there 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 um you can imply you can you can imply sexuality in a family friend way, is what I'm mm-hmm. trying to say, and they do that consistently. So, for example, um, in the in the Little Mermaid, um, <clears throat> Ariel and Eric um fall in love with each other, right? And in the sequel to The Little Mermaid, we we see that they have a they have a child together. So obviously something sexual went down, but all but they don't they don't they they omit that part because it's I don't know how mermaids work, so I, I I can't really deny no nor confirm that. I know they say <laughs> come on now. Ariel turns into, I'm Ariel being serious. Into come on, like you you, you want to talk specifics? Let's talk specifics. I don't know how a mermaid works. What happens if she plants an egg and then no. gets fertilized? <laughs> like I don't know. First of all, in the con within the context oh of that story, Ariel fully becomes a human by the end of that story. So she is, for all intents and purposes, a human. So yes, yeah, she has a she has a human daughter the regular way that humans have children. Hmm. 
She so, wanted to be a human so she could well, do human things. So uh, okay, so they don't show that. To, like but, that romance led to something. Yeah, that's what we're saying. They no, no, no. Yeah, show... I, no. I I understand that. I understand that. But I'm just saying, they like you're showed... saying that. You're saying they don't show that. What do you mean? I mean, they shouldn't show that. It's it's, it's a kids' movie. Like, what is your point with that? I'm I'm like getting He's lost. Saying, my point, he my he point just said it. No, he hold on because he he just. He just said that it's implied that there is some type of sexual intimacy, even with a kid intimacy. wouldn't think like that though. Exactly. Yeah, but so in any that's, that's what we're saying situation. though. That's our entire. But that's opinion. different yeah. from uh, implying something the kid wouldn't know about to showing two people kissing on screen in a movie in a kids movie. That's way different. Yeah, but, and what? And guess what? In the first movie, they kissed three times in that movie on the cheek, which was just romantic. There's a song called. They kissed. Uh, they kissed twice on the cheek. Under like what was it under the sea or something? I don't fuck. Oh, actually, one of the kiss the girl, kiss the girl. Yes, that was one of the things that they kissed. Kiss the girl. And, and they kissed and they kissed when they got married. Them. They kissed when they got married. And as a child, obviously, that's not what you're thinking about. That's not going. You're not thinking of sex. You're thinking, wow, that's cute. That's romantic. You know, as an eight year old, that's what I was thinking. It's not sexual because kids, like we can all agree are not thinking about it in that way, which is why we say that this like kissing and romantic scenes are shown within TV shows and kid movies all the time. And it's not inherently sexual. It's just supposed to be a cutesy thing. I think it is. I, I don't think it's, look, 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 look. let me get this clear because somebody oh. just left the comment saying because it was Ariel and Eric uh, or whatever the guy's name is, I don't say anything. I don't think any kid, any bit like three, four, five, six, seven, eighty, or needs to be watching anybody kissing, even if it's in a freaking cartoon movie. I don't so think they think need to be saying that. So you, think that, I don't... The little, the, so you think the little mermaid is inappropriate for children should be outlawed? No, I've never seen the movie, to be honest. I never sat down and wanted to watch The Little Mermaid. But if they do kiss in that, then yeah, I don't think kids should be watching that. I'm not um, going to sit here and pick apart and be like, oh, if it's a guy and a guy, they shouldn't. Or it's a girl and a girl. No, man, I don't want I don't want kids seeing that regardless. They don't need to see see seeing two adults kissing regardless okay. of the cartoon or not. Wait a so, minute, wait a minute. So, are you saying... Can I are you saying... Are you, are you saying time. cartoon? Are you saying cartoon and in real life too? You do like you're saying that you just wouldn't show your child that you know a mother or a father loves each other. You wouldn't like you wouldn't want to show that affection towards your child. Period. Like until they're older is what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, depending on what age they are. Like when they're toddlers, yeah, sure, they 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 shouldn't. Okay. I'm just sure. I'm just why, right, but why not, would it listen, matter I'm if a child up. is not going to inherently think that way anyways? All they're gonna know is I messed up that y'all use an example of a movie that he hasn't even watched. He hasn't even seen this movie and yet he has this opinion of what he would like. Come on, y'all. Oh really? What I had an opinion. Movie? Actually, no, I didn't. I never said I watched okay, right the movie. I, I didn't even bring up the movie. Okay. One thing, no, we one did. Thing we I did. Say, yeah, it thank shows. you. One thing Thank I you for knowing that. People which is why, Ariel. which is why I brought up if he were like if he would feel the same way if it came down to, uh, you know, um, like you know, just showing affection in front of his child, toddler, and he said not in front of the toddler. Which I don't know. My my rebuttal to that is that, but why not? If they can't even think that it's inherently sexual, all they're going to know is that their mommy and daddy because kids, it's, kids at that age, especially, they mimic a lot of stuff. Okay, so to address. To, okay, so right bring everyone back up to speed. We were discussing point two, which was that homophobia is not about fear. And then one of the panelists brought up brought up that if you don't want to see homosexuality, then that's a that's a thing. So basically, he was saying that there is that homophobia is okay under certain circumstances. And I was saying that no, it's not okay because um, because media c possessing representation isn't an inherently negative thing. So that was how we got to this conversation. One thing I would say is, I want a woman like Ariel. Why? I mean, I'm just curious why. Because she changed her whole species for the, for the glizzy. If I can get a woman that dedicated, boy, Ooh. the world is ours. Wow. Okay, so, so for the person for the person in the um, comments talking about um, for the person in the comments, you're being very annoying. Um, I think you need to take a breather, take hmm. a chill pill. The 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 um, stingray Tay 
like like real mm-hmm. like just real just real back and you know think about what you're saying before you say it so yeah i don't even know i don't, I don't know what you're so anyway, Wait, anyway, I'm what just... does number two say? It says homophobia is not about oh fear. Okay, Which is what okay. the original conversation was about. <laughs> yeah, and it oh, can we go back to the else? I really don't. Can we know. go back to the uh, number one? Because I got some thoughts about that. Y'all can yeah, y'all can say whatever. Sure. I don't care. So so the first one, sis, uh, is not a slur. Let's say mm-hmm. I agree one hundred percent, right? But I don't think it's it's even productive to even mention that because we we treat these things we're using the English language and we treat them like they can't be pejorative. I never thought in my life that Monday would be a slur or something derogatory until one day somebody called me a Monday, and I'm like, what what the fuck does that mean? And they're like, oh, you, you know, you're Monday, you're black. Nobody likes Mondays. And I was like, holy shit, they just made Monday racist. So like, yeah, it's not a slur, but people treat the English language, like these words can't be used pejoratively. So to that, I would say that it's very true that any, any word, any word that wasn't created to be pejorative can become pejorative and can be become a slur. Oh, but it has to have a historical precedent of being used um, derogatorily. Right. And I don't think we've really invented any new slurs since the 19. 19- the eighteen hundreds, maybe, or the nineteen, or the sissy, or sh- they're literally calling people sissies now. Let's with, not do that. That is not new, though. And the funny is thing that is, sissy is was that... was originally used towards trans people. I know. So, that's what uh, I'm saying. That's what I'm trying I, to get you to understand. It's I'm actually still trying to figure out. out. That's, that's I, why I'm gonna, now. So I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to say that you're wrong or you're lying, because um, I, I personally just never seen that or experienced or like experienced that. So I wouldn't be able to. You know, back you up on that. If that's true, so, then that's messed so, up. Like, why are we using a slur <laughs> for like yeah, uh, so a slur that, that was that denounced case, to somebody else? So, but I think that it's important to to because any like, like I said, any word can become a slur. But from what I can see, that specific word has not become a slur in the in the in the um, present day. So, oh, and to correct myself, not, sissy. Uh, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, you, that word was actually not used towards trans people. It was used towards gay men, and specifically that were quote unquote bottoms are seen as twinks. So I wanted to correct myself on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, no. So the, wait, wait, but real quick. So there's people that think that their cisgender is a slur. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There are people that believe that. But I don't why? know. Ask, ask them. I really don't. Oh, know. Okay, ask okay, them. okay. I just I was so confused. Because I don't think it is. Matter. No, I, I don't. I, well, don't I guess. In a, I guess in a sense, it's been used. Like this year, I will go ahead and admit on social media, I have seen a few or a handful of videos that is used like in a derogatory, offensive way. Like here goes these cis white men sissing it up, <laughs> like being this, you know, some stupid mocking shit like so, that. Um, and people so, say that that's like a slur. So, so even so, I think that a slur has a, like not every mean word is a slur. So even if you use a word in a mean way, that doesn't automatically make it a slur. No, I agree. So... I agree 100% with the whole premise. I'm just I'm just saying it's not, I don't even think it's a fruitful argument to take that position of it's not a slur because some like a, a few years, people are going to prove you wrong that it is. Like, remember when the whole thing started with Karens and how Karens wasn't a slur? And then they would like pressure it so far that you can't even type Karen on Facebook or anywhere. It's... It, like a slur now, y'all know that, right? No, <laughs> I remember that. I don't know. <laughs> That's that. what I'm but... saying. It's still not a slur. Like, yeah, because like there was a group of uh, white women who tried to make Karen like a slur. Like they tried really, really, really hard when it first started becoming a trend. Um. I think like they try to go to the government or something. Like there, I remember there was a new, like a news article talking about like uh like a group of white women trying to make Karen like <laughs> like an actual like like slur like a legal slur or something like that to the government. I'm not really sure um what was the title of the article, but I remember it coming out. 
So what yeah, what I'm is a slur? What is your yeah. understanding of a slur? Because I I typically just follow words by the definition. So yeah. what what so would constitute me, what would constitute a slur? Because I think if your intention is, is to be insultive, then it's a slur. Yeah, well, anything me, anything sl- could be considered a slur because by definition, it is something that is offensive or discriminatory towards somebody or a group of people. You don't need a okay, so for it to be a slur. Go ahead, sorry. So, in my, okay, so in my so from my personal from my personal opinion, a slur is a derogatory, offensive term that can come from anywhere, but it specifically its use to specifically target a specific group of people, and has a historical usage of that of that. So if if that is consistently and historically used in a negative way towards a specific group of people, and that's makes that makes it a slur. Like if it's specifically, oh, in my opinion, I think if it's specific, it's also um specifically to um it was specifically used to um to perpetuate violence against that person, against that group of people. Then that also makes it a slur, in my opinion. Okay. I so, can see why this so, word would be considered a slur, though. Like, now, I mean, I I knew what it was, but I looked at the definition because there's a lot of people who don't want to be, I, they don't want people presuming what they are. So I guess they they find it offensive if somebody you know presumes their gender. That's what yeah. I'm guessing. So historically, I, 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 I want to question his definition. I want to question. You said it has to be historically used that way. R e t a r d was simply used as to mean that somebody was intellectually and not not even intellectually inferior, but intellectually challenged. And now that's a slur. Yeah, it historically, become, it was not used that way. Historically, but historically, it, historically yeah. it turned out to become a slur yeah. due to the way that they were denouncing and degrading people that were not on the same educational level as average people so yes you, that's what we're talking about historical we're not talking about the origin or the r- original meaning no, we're no, saying that, huge example the n-word right people love to use this as a well you know it never it, it, like originally that's not what it meant right yeah right. sure yeah. they're correct but did it, it sure so turned out to be that because historically people used it to denounce a whole group of, per- of people that's why it turned out to be a slur that's why we denounce it same thing with the r word like you were talking about if cis ever turns out to be a slur yeah, sure. I will, in a sense, I can see where people are coming from because it's not it's not inherently a historical thing, but that is a big reason why things become a slur. It has to have like usually it has to have a historical meaning behind it. Yeah, yeah. it has to be my whole yeah, point. Yeah, it's just gender is just a scientific term to, wait, to explain wait. like the difference between like the biologically yeah, but one, uh, but like also, born but I, I male like, or female. Like, Excuse me. I don't like using that argument because once upon a time the R slur was also a scientific term. So I, yeah, so like that's what is the R word? Like, I don't so like, that's my whole point. Well, the thing did anybody hear what I said? Like, like it was. Did anybody hear what I said? Even though it was, we like, heard it. Like, calm down. That's why I jumped in. It was it. always used as a scientific definition, kind of, kind of like the N word. It was used as an insult from the beginning, you know, because like. Um, like the N word was used to insult a whole entire group of people. Like the R word was used as a scientific term, but it was also in a degrading effect. I've never heard it used in a degrading effect until it. I can tell you, I, my, mo- my Are you mom. Are about like, the R word not being used in a degrading people. way? She and my mom is a uh, teacher, and she works with kids who have these, um, you know, the like. Developmental um, delays. These medical, like yeah, like the, the, like these um, medical problems, again, disability and ed. stuff like that. And I can tell you firsthand that, like, the amount of times that um, those kids are mistreated just because of their disabilities, and being used, like, like using that word as an insult is like, really degrading. And kids I use also every word a... as an insult, though. So, at, w- at what point do you stop using words? If there's, well, there's a difference like, the between word like, is a using word. a slur and like, like a slur is it, it is an insult, but in like, there's a difference between the word slur and insult. Insult is like yes. uh, just to. Um, it is a very light term compared to a slur because a slur is used towards a group of people. An insult can be anything. Wait, wait. So you, just, you, yes. you, you think the R word shouldn't be used at all? Like, is that what like, you like? No, I the definitely R-word agree. To the N-word? It should not be used at all. You should, but you're comparing the R word to the N word. 
So, well, so I started no, no, there's a reason. No, no, there's no, a no. reason. I brought that up, and I'm not saying there's the same thing. I'm I'm not, there's... So I started off saying, I started off saying, sis is not a slur, but it can be used pejoratively. And now we are having a conversation kind of proving that point of what I made in the beginning that I don't think it's a good argument to stand on by saying sis is not a slur because people will take those words and they will show you that it can eventually become one. Sure, this but guy is right going through that motion right think, now. I think, so <laughs> I like I said that. earlier, like I said earlier, if we're just going based off of the, ter- off of the term slur, yes, sis could be considered a, uh, a slur. Uh, because of how people individually feel offended by it or think that are or, or insulted, insulted by it. I know I, I really no, said I, that before. I said that at the beginning. However, no, but Ali, if that's think, the case when it I comes get, down to a slur, please, no, please, y'all stop talking over me because I was trying to listen to y'all. Just give me one second. If we are using, if we're saying that uh, that anything can be a slur, then literally anything can be a slur. Anything that is used in an offensive, uh, uh, insulting way could be a slur. Literally, anything that you feel offended by it and who brought it up earlier karen was that you black or was that the other person that was in here how karen was was trying to be turned into a slur because a lot of people were using it in an insulting way but it was it was it was was denounced because no (laughs) like why are we trying to take this a slur when people are just calling out karen's quote unquote um for how they were just being you know racist this that and the other yeah, so this is this is why I'm saying that, yeah, when it comes down to a slur, it's nuanced, but I personally don't think this is a slur because in most cases, it's not used as a slur or as an insult. So 100% agree. Yes. 100% but, agree. But what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to, okay, let me, I'm, I'm, what I think he's trying to get at, that, that he was trying to say that saying that, it, well, all, we know that it's not a slur, but saying that it's not a slur will can cause people to take take that and use it to fuel their arguments because they can say that oh well it's not a slur but it sure can become one and then that's how they get their they that's how they get leverage in the in their argument because they don't like the word so they're saying it's a slur and they're saying it's becoming a slur because any word can become a slur so i think what he's trying to say is that using that talking point is kind of it ha- kind of has some flaws because because transphobic yes. people can take it and use it. I, I guess I'm really basing sense. it off of what other people say, right? If they believe that it's a slur, sure, it's a slur, right? But my entire argument, I'm not, and I'm literally not denouncing black because I agree with him. <laughs> like all I'm saying is, we need to stop. Like there's a there obviously there's a fine line between what's a slur and what's simply like a like offensive or insult, right? Because mm-hmm. why are we like? Karen, that's not a slur, but people think it is. Since There's too many sensitive people. I think anything could be a slur to anybody. This yeah, is crazy. and I think that's that's my point, right, Street? That's my point. Anything yeah, that's that crazy. Like, you is... I've never heard until today that the R word should not be used anymore because some people might get their little feelings hurt. Never have I heard that. I know. Really? It's, it's kind I mean, of like the R word has been considered as... a slur since the early 2000s, so I don't know yeah, about it, that. Even it, I didn't mean, insinuating but that but you have but... a mental defect. That's like when you use the R okay. word, it's insinuating that. That's why it's used. It's uh, like, it, like it's, it's a considered med- a slur. It's a medical term. It's a medical term. It's a medical term that's changed. It is, it is a medical term that it's not even used anymore. So it's yeah, really it, like what is that we denounced. But but yeah. in, in, in in that same breath where like what marshmallow was what marshmallow was talking about by kids she said she knew kids in the school that were using it G A Y is used as a slur too should we cancel that no. word too because kids say it all the time it, that's to each an other. insult I I can tell you as someone who is gay I, like that's not that's just an insult like if it used in a netic, negative tone it's it's not a slur okay that's your opinion though. There could be somebody else who could, could, could who could think this the opposite the and think that word. The F word was the slur. F word is the slur, not gay. That could be a slur. I'm, I'm pretty sure we could find somebody out there who who, who would believe that. It, it it's gonna be a very small percentage of people though. Like, well, maybe, so they like don't you're count? Probably... So your your like, your feelings count, but not theirs. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that's what, like that's what it def- sounds like. It sounds like it is. It upsets you, so that's why you think it should it be a slur. That's not. I don't are know. Are we talking you about the F word? 
Are we talking about yeah, the yeah, F word or the R? The F word is used in the thing slur that due to the fact that historically is used in a negative connotation. Why yeah, would I like, announce that? He was trying to say the word gay is like could be a slur. It, it was in, it's like somebody used in a certain it way. It could have been insulting, but the F word a... was the slur. You yeah, could, but it, you it, can it, still use the word. It just people aren't gonna like you. Yeah, it, yeah, because it, it, it's that's what it, I understand. It people get so butt hurt. Tone. They're like, "What? I want to use this word." Then use it. Use it right now. Say it. I dare My you. My whole point was <laughs> is that, is that kidding, Marshmallow kidding, was saying that the R word shouldn't be used at all, but that's just her opinion based on yeah, like what the she feels. Yeah, shouldn't be used Not- at all. That, like, other slurs shouldn't be used at all. It, in general, just, like, don't use slurs. Like, the, yeah, like how the, much I think stuff you want to cancel before people you can even what? talk anymore? I don't like, know how many people that want to cancel sins. That's fine. How slur is a bad thing to cancel? No, it's fine. Marshmallow, I don't know. Like, that. that's crazy. Crazy. Like you're trying to cancel words because of the way they make you feel. That that's that's pretty sensitive. Like no, I, I think... I'm just saying. Wait, no, I'm very okay. So what word okay, is she trying yeah. to cancel? I'm very confused. What word? The is she R trying word. She said R word. Why are you? No, but why are you censoring me? Like, like, say the word. I'm not censoring anything. I'm just no, saying, not you. Use... He is. He's calling it the R word. Just say it. Oh. Uh, I don't want to say it. Please don't say it. Please don't say it. Why don't you say it? Don't, don't, don't get my ass taken down. Please. No, because if I, if I say the word as many times as I'm referring to it, I'm going to keep saying it. It's going to sound weird. Like, I'm not going to keep saying that word. I don't want to say that word. I think that's why we should just say it. Exactly. So, it's not to say, I want to clarify if you know it's really a bad quickly. word, don't use it. No, I don't. I don't think it's a bad word. It's not if the fact that, that Marsh herself considers it a slur. If you it's not the it. fact that Marsh it consi- like that Marsh herself considers it a slur. It's the fact that they're uh, uh, collectively it's considered a slur. Okay, but if you can't say the word, if you like, if I if I'm saying um, the R word, right? Why, okay. Just say it. That's what I understand. People are like, "What? Why?" No, do so not say it in here. Can't... I yeah, well, number one, this is the kids app, and I'm pretty sure that no, there's some kind of kids a... out there watching it from the outside. This Why would I keep saying that word? Kids. This app is not dedicated to kids. Uh, it's, it's, saying, a teen app. It, it's a teen app. It's a teen app, so it is. If you're so upset that you can't say words, then then don't don't let it upset you. Just use the words. Just say it. I don't have and to. Even more like, I don't know. Like, to... like, I don't know if you get, but if you're telling me what to do, I'm not gonna listen to you. Like, I, you're not gonna get me to do something I don't want to do. I just said I don't want to say it. No matter think, what you say, I'm not point, gonna say it. Savvy's point is, that, but I that doesn't prove Savvy's any point. I just don't want to say the word. Yeah, I think you don't the want to say the word. You know, it's offensive or uh, like a slur the, within itself. No, but even more than that, censor it. That's a that's the if you have to censor the word. I'm not censoring. I just don't want to say it right. Like, what? What don't you get? No, it, 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 you can like, say everything. Excuse me. Can I just jump in real quick? Can I just jump in real quick? The fact, like, I, I'm calling Cam. Right? He said he just found out that the R word was offensive, but he's been censoring it since it come up came up. So, like, exactly. no, doesn't that seem a little suspicious? No, to no, y'all? no, but. But believe yes, this, look, it look and, and I hate to plug this in, but if you go to YouTube Street Style TV, TV, I have videos where I use that word loosely. To hide I have videos where I use that word loosely on YouTube. I'm just so not saying it know. here because I don't want to. So, I, are you a I streamer? So. Uh, yeah, I think, I think no, I make videos on on, on YouTube. So, th- like I said, there's videos on there where you catch me using that word. I'm just not gonna say it on here because TikTok takes you down if you uh, use okay, that word. So you I, I don't know if you guys know every that. Day. So you learn something new every day. Just don't use it anymore. I want to. Okay. Well, then so here's... do it. <laughs> okay. There, there you go. go like, I don't get what point. That you, you, like, if you use okay, that on TikTok, here's a, here's your life gets taken down you or you get suspended. Know, here's the thing. You didn't know something and you learn, oh, it's actually not a good word. So, like, it, you can, it's your decision on yeah, how you want to words in my mouth. I never said that. I never no. said that. I never said it's not a good word. I, I, I was so, just stating like something. I wasn't saying that was. No, you're trying to you're, you're trying to say like I said that. I didn't say that. I understand. You, you literally understand just said the entire... you on your YouTube channel. Right. So, listen, I understand no. the entire so dynamic of this say, conversation. But he's capping us. He no, listen. To, he's he capping us. Word, he is capping us right now. I'm camping. You okay. mean capping? I don't know. So. So. I think this conversation has gotten yes, really off we're the rails. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit. Say, so, I'm just, 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 just let me get a word in. Um, I'm gonna keep. 
I'm gonna keep listening. Um, Ali, um, thanks for letting me up. Um, Thank you. Uh, I don't have any more to say. I think I've got. I think I've got my my point in. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, thanks. I appreciate you coming up here, Breezy. Thank have you for being up. And I'm gonna drop out too, but I I, I want to get somebody else's space. But I just need to say, like, I I feel like this whole conversation with Street has been kept, like, respectfully. You can't when say you that say word stuff, on TikTok. Well, I need to understand. Can you not cut me off, please? Can I just finish my point? Can I just finish my point? Can you mute your mic and let me finish my point? Nah, I won't talk. Go ahead. Thank you. This you you literally just said I just found out this word is a slur to everybody, but you yeah. haven't even used it, right? So that's cap number one. You cap can't cap use it on TikTok. Let, let I just said speak. that. Like five let times. Speak you real can't quick. use it on let TikTok. Let them speak real quick. They literally are about no, to leave. You can say that. Like, I didn't say that already. You can't use that word you, on TikTok. You, you, you can respond after they say this statement. He literally just he got into it, one and sentence. I told them already. Everybody knows that you can't use that on TikTok okay. live. You, you he get just wants to put his point of view. That's just like it, this is his okay. Like, turn. Uh, now I'm done talking. Let, let him. Let them go ahead. Thirty seconds, y'all. It took him thirty seconds to shut up. Just so y'all know, he he just said to us he knows he can't use the word on TikTok. That lets y'all know right there, right there. That he knew before this conversation, so that's cap right there. This guy yeah, is here I, to I got promote. suspended for saying it before. You couldn't let him sit, finish the sentence. Let him go. <laughs> He's trying to paint More this proof. picture where I think I, I he thinks I, I think it's wrong. I don't think it's wrong. Well, You're trying to paint this picture. No, 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 no. Period. I said it before. I got suspended, bro. Simple, bro. Stop cutting me off. I know. I know that you don't think the word is wrong. I am pointing out that you found that out long ago. Before this conversation, before this one, that's what I am pointing out. And the fact that you do all this blah, 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 and ducking and dodging and talking, addressing the points I'm not making, lets me know 100% you are camping and here to promote your channel. Y'all wasting your time with this person. Have a good day and thank you for, for letting me join the box. Have a, but also, you, you, sure you were trying to run the, 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 the thing that you thought that I don't use the word. I told you there's videos of me on YouTube using Street. the word. I do Street. use the word. That's you, why you I say that. Point I can't do it on here because it's TikTok. Okay, no, no, Street. You you like the word, whatever. But here's the thing: you sound like not even like the word. Eighty three year old grandfather. You know, he just says whatever, and I'm like, Grandpa, no one says that anymore. So that's what you sound like. When I found out that people with disabilities were saying, "Please don't like use this word," it literally was so sad because I used the word all the time and i use it as stupid okay so then you've got a group of people saying don't use it and and when you continue to do it as like this like shock value you sound like an what are you talking stop putting words when did i say i use it for shock value what are you talking about I'm you, stop, you, stop, I stop, I say you said that you use it. Okay, well, you probably didn't say shock value, but you did clarify it and I, that she uses it within your YouTube videos all the time. No, no, I use it because it's just in my vocabulary. I don't look at it as a terrible word that hurts it's little just, people's it's feelings. Giving, it's I don't giving, think like that. It's giving eighty-year-old grandpa. It's giving eighty-year-old. Yeah, it's giving like very like I uh, like I. This is something I learned when I was like five, and I'm not gonna unlearn it. I'm not gonna unlearn it. Why would I? Then say it. I just what the where are we? What what have I been saying? I said I'm not gonna stop using the word. The word's a medical term. If if people's feelings are hurt by it, that's their problem. There's a lot of words. This isn't Nazi Germany where you okay. you could be like this, this, all this is out because no, I don't want it there no more. This ain't the what that ain't the world we li we live in. It's about to be 2023. You can say whatever you want. There's always gonna be people who are gonna be upset by something. You could you you could look at somebody on, on, on at, at, at like a bus stop and they could get upset by it. It'd be like, oh my god. Like, okay, but the, I would. The world's okay, too but, sensitive. Okay, but I would. I'm gonna use every you. word in, in my arsenal. But the I world is too sensitive. I would defend you. I would defend you, right? But there are there are certain words that like really when you say it, it's just like how are it's it's just ignorant. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. Uh, yes, That's one person's opinion. opinion. It's your yes. opinion that the R word shouldn't be used because you talk to some people with disabilities. Well, Fantastic. No, I didn't. I didn't talk to them. It's word. just, I did not talk to them. I want to be clear. It's just circulated the internet for literally 10 years. 
well over that actually. A bunch of stuff circulates the internet. Yeah, well, they they say the world is like flat on the internet. Four, I believe. Like I remember. Two thousand four, like, I believe. Yeah, it's actually all I know is I was literally in elementary school when it stopped being used. I was like in third and or fourth it, grade. Yeah, yeah, it was I when people would say that's hey, gay. it is a offensive term. Please do not use it. I know it's a new thing to not use this word. Because the world's word, getting softer and softer. Due to this, uh, due to this subject matter, please do not use the word anymore. And, pe- and kids who did use it, like, were just kids who like wanted to be bullies and mess around. But kids who didn't use it were respectful towards people who were like, "Oh, okay, so it's a bad word." Like, it, listen, it, it's the world is too soft, you- marshmallow funny name but the world's getting too soft if words really disturb you that much you're gonna have a What's tough so time in this world name? i'm telling Why you right you now call yourself street school it doesn't Why do you it's street scholar like that? street scholar it doesn't disturb me the when i hear scholar. someone say it though, scholar like scholar like a scholar shocking. yeah so you, my name is funny but yours isn't it's funny i know okay so. hip. this is so hip that's it's the same it's outdated don't use it anymore like i don't understand why that's so hard we're not like saying oh we're so soft and and scared of words that it's just it's just a few words you can't say or you shouldn't say it's just a it, few. it does sound like you're scared of words though like why would a medical term hurt your feelings so much that you think yeah, that are nobody you using should use it, it? It's not a medical term, term anymore but I'm but just saying it is a medical term. Used as You're a medical not term using in like it in a medical years. term. He's but not. Like, using the, it the point I'm getting way. at is that you guys, you two in the box are super sensitive. You don't want it to be used. But guess what? There's people like me <laughs> I who don't care about that. No, please. Okay. The funny you thing literally is street, You literally were just interrupting thing. someone who just left and couldn't let them finish their sentence for like the over eight times. The funny thing is, Street, it's not the fact that these two people are saying whether or not are saying that, you know, they're as individuals, they're saying it's a slur. They're saying it's a slur because it's been denounced a slur for well over a decade. Now. By who, though? By who? Like, By who? It's by the community like quote unquote the, the disabled the disabled community the people that have literally been um hurt by it in general and now it's used and now we have to people. ask a disabled now, person now are there any used. in the comments literally Street, sir, please please don't word. interrupt me because the funny thing is i didn't interrupt y'all for like the last 10 minutes okay, I i'm sorry them. i yeah, apologize she is the okay. too. so give me one second all i'm saying is when, like when it comes to, like huge example if you don't want to think about the r word not being used as a slur n word mm-hmm. right a lot mm-hmm. of people say, listen, do not say this word. It's a slur. It is very dehumanizing, this, that, and the other. There are some people within my community that is okay with saying the N-word uh, because they took it as their own and they used it as a positive way or with a positive language. However, that's not the same for other things. And when we can acknowledge within modern time how the R-word is used to literally denounce somebody and, de- and like kind of uh, discredit somebody's um, education... Intellect. Or, yeah, they're in, uh, they're, yeah, exactly. Um, in that way, then why are we still continuously saying that? Well, no, people are just sensitive. No, because even within your own language, and you say you use it all the time, what other way would you use the R word as a way to be positive? Because even only when people play video games, they're using it as a way to denounce somebody and their skills, right? I'm not sure why you were trying to denounce that. It's not an individual thing, it's a collective thing when it comes down to yes. slurs. As yes. a collective, people would have to agree with it being considered a slur. I've I've accidentally said the R word, like even recently, and I'm like, as soon as I say it, it like it it's cr- uh, like a crunchy word. I don't know how else to describe it, but you say Cringe. it, and then you feel bad. And I would say, oh, I'm sorry, because I don't want to use the word. But what I'm saying to you, Street, is when you use it, and people around you are like chuckling, they're giving you a sympathy laugh. It's a pity laugh because no. Oh, really? You know that? Anymore. That's amazing. That, that's okay. amazing that you know, I know. that. I, I, I didn't you. know you were in the room I with know. us. I, I do know because it's not, no one likes You do the know? Work. How old? Wait, Unless real, real quick. How old are you? I'm 30. That doesn't matter their age. No, no it does matter because okay. you sound really I'm, older than me. So I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. Like, well, how old you are you? You look older than me, you... but hey, let's not talk about that. What What is your point? No, I'm just asking how old you are. What is what is her age I have to do with the conversation? No, because she, she's you. saying that like the people in the room with me. So I'm wondering what age 26? bracket is she in to I, know what the people 26. in the room with me would think. I just told you. I'm 31. Okay. You look 26, Street. How old are you? I'm 35. 
All right. Okay. All right. But I'm I'll Hispanic. We, we, we don't young, age. You do look younger than me. Me I'll too. I'm Hispanic that. too. Let's go. Let's go. Right? We don't age. <laughs> My, well, anyway, that. I, no, my grandpa's listen, 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 listen. Look, I, I wasn't asking your age to insult you, all right? We're, we all get old. Like, I was just asking you because you said, like, I, I, I thought you were trying to, like, say that we were in the same age bracket. So I was wondering, wondering if you were. But what my whole point is, is not even specifically about the R word. It's just that at what point do you stop doing this when it comes to sensitive people? Like, oh, take out this word because it, it hurts people. This, like, how far down the line are we going to get to the point where it's like, this word right here, with this year on 2024, this word bothers people. Eliminate that. 2025, a, this word bothers people. Words. You can't keep doing the that. The N word and the okay, R word. This, it's you real know simple. So, as a fellow Hispanic, you know there's certain like insult like uh, like certain words as a Hispanic that you don't want certain people to use, right? Wrong. No, I don't care. Use any word you want. Okay. She's so, saying as a collective, right not individual. as you as an individual. She's talking about <laughs> as a collective. That there are certain there words. There is no collective. Within... We we all don't share a brain. So that there's no such thing. Okay. No, but right, it would right. have to be a community as a group to agree upon at least something as a whole, or at least majority, or a lot. Like the huge example when it comes down to the N word, there are some people that are perfectly fine with it being used, not in the context of ER, but A, right? Um, a lot of people are okay with that, but a lot of people aren't. So as a collective, it's still considered a slur when it comes down to the N word alone, because we collectively agree what? that we have literally historically been denounced and degraded and dehumanized by that word. Example with the R word, a lot of people have been denounced, dehumanized, and degraded by that so, word. Wait, Example wait, with the with the uh, with the with the B word within uh, when it comes down to Hispanics, y'all have been collectively denounced and dehumanized. The B word, well, well, I don't even know. I don't want to. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say. We're it. not going to say. I really don't even yeah. know that. The, the, See, like, the, the, I don't even know because I'm not sensitive. I'm not a sensitive person. Brother. Like I don't you know, know what's the word. Like, I don't even know what the R know. word was that somebody said in the comments. It's very simple. Right. Uh, if you can't but, use a word for all demographics, okay? So, the R word. If you can't go up to any person and use it, I've, then don't use it. N word. Right. If you can't go up to any demographic and use it, don't use it. The F word. If you can't go up to any different demographic and use it, just don't. It's there's not that many words. So wait, uh, let's but, wait, 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 before geek. When, when you were saying the N word, there's a whole genre of music, music that uses that word. So what yeah, demographic are you talking about right, is against that I, word? Okay, I'm not talking. Right, that's why I. I let me. He's asking me specifically, right? Y'all, hold on. He's asking. He's asking me specifically. So let me let me respond. Uh, I'm talking about ER. I made that very clear when it comes down to that being considered a slur. There's a lot of things that a lot of people would still, you know, get mad about if people use the A in mm -hmm. the N word uh, towards other non-Black people because it's still dehumanized and it's still used in a very negative way. When we're talking about the music, I even myself denounce that. I don't like the word period. I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's that's an individual thing, right? That's an yeah, individual, individual thing. I think, however, I think however, it is still considered a slur as a collective when people use it in a dehumanizing, a degrading way. That's why it's considered a slur. It's literally historical aspect of it. But what right. I think, um, well, what, what you said about individual, I think everything oh, you're you're referring to is individual. What you feel, you you don't know what the what the whole less quote unquote disability community feel. What you happened? don't know that. You haven't asked all of them. Like this is all personal opinion. This is like it, we're talking about what hurts you as a person. What words okay. bother you? So well, we're saying it hurts people quick. in general. Go ahead. But Seth, you don't sorry. know that. All right, Scott, you haven't Scott. asked everybody. So wait, Big hasn't went it for a while, so let him yeah. let let them jump in. As as much as much as much as I don't like his approach, can I talk I for one second? With, I agree with him in regards to the R word, only because and he, please hear so, me out. Oh, hear me out. The in regards to the N word, that has histo a, a long history of it being used to uh, as a weapon and mm -hmm. uh, degradation tool against mm -hmm. people of color. Now, as for the R word, for the last 30 to 40 years, that has been a clinical definition. And that's kind of, that's kind of uh, why it hasn't, it, 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 does, it hasn't died off because even now, that's still a clinical definition. It has not been used within the medical field for over a decade. 
I'm that I'm, is something I'm, I'm, that people need to get over. It is I'm, not I'm, being I'm, used I'm, in a bit. And, and well, and like I said, this is a new thing, so I'm not going to denounce that. But the R word within itself, even 30, 40 years ago, even when it, when it was used within the medical field, there was a lot of history when it came down to people that were considered R words that were literally dehumanized on the table, that were literally picked apart because of their not them not fitting a intellect uh, con- like aspect of the average human being. There's, there's history behind that word, which is why people, so, like historically, which is exactly why people denounce it. So <laughs> that's not a good argument then. But go ahead. I'm sorry. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is you have the N-word that has hundreds of years of history behind it being denounced for a very long time. You have the R-word that was a clinical definition up until you just said a decade ago. Sometimes that's going to take time to get it out of the public consciousness and people who grew up with that word just being a another word, another meme word, uh, that's going to take time for the public consciousness to realize that that is not okay to say. Well, get with the, well then get with the program, damn it. Because <laughs> I'm no, so tired of this. I've been arguing about this. Years, get with the like, program, man. You need to understand okay, that. 15 like, years, it, like, it's over a decade. And like for humans, it's not really an old age. It's considered young. But in like media and like in culture, it's considered a very long time. So like it, it, it's just something you have to move on. Kind of like how we make up new terms and new like ways to say things. It it, it it can come and go very quickly. So like just you just have to get used to the fact that like like th- this isn't something that you should use anymore. Like it's your it's opinion. been over fifteen years. That's your opinion. I- I mean, I mean that that's fair. I, I do I do see your point of view. What I'm saying is, people want immediate gratification when they want change, but that's not how change works, unfortunately. Well, the truth is, a no, lot of people don't feel like you, Marshmallow. And I'm sorry, the whole either. A lot of people don't feel like you. This is why you're fighting this battle. You, 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 it's you not just a have battle, battle that we're fighting, that. bro. Listen, we're this is battle. what I'm me. This is not a battle that nobody's fighting. We're simply telling you that it's a considered a slur. You know what I mean. That, you know what I mean possibly... by that. I don't mean physically or like. I'm well, just saying. I, this, like, well, I'm not taking it literal either. either. Not, I know okay, you're well. talking. I'm not. I, I know you're talking. I know you're not trying to. <laughs> I don't, I'm so sorry. I'm stuttering. I know you don't mean it in a literal way. I'm just saying, like, how are we like? us simply acknowledging the fact that, hey, these words are considered a slur. Let's possibly not use it. It's not us trying to, like, fight a battle. It's simply a fact. It, it <laughs> is. So no, I don't it, know. It, but it is trying to fight a battle because you're trying to convince me, a person who doesn't see a problem with a word, that's just a word, that it's wrong. That's, well, that's not the way the world works. You're, you're, you keep, like, going on and on about how, like, it, like I'm going to use it regardless of the fact. And we're just saying, please don't use it because it affects a big community. And it's Anything like, affects no, anybody. They used it to dehumanize exactly. people to run ex- medical experiments on them, exactly. dude. Like what? literally, that was their whole point of when? using that word. Exactly. When? Look well, in the forties and fifties, dude. I read the whole point of man. it. I can't look into the forties and fifties. No, you can look into it because you're just trying to avoid the conversation because you're scared of it. You no, you're trying to censor stuff. Like you, you're, you're trying no, to limit the words you that you think some people are it, And you're just sitting here trying to fight against it so you can use it. I'm not trying to fight against it. I think a lot of people think like me. I think a lot of people don't give words that much no, power. No, you haven't found anyone they're... that actually backs up your view yet. You're just literally saying that people agree with you just because well, your I'm friends one around you are doing it. Have you not heard of the stories in those asylums, in those mental hospitals when they first started out? There's stories about everything. You, anything if you look about mental... enough on Google, you can find a story about anything you want to find a story it's about. Not well, what a about the story? Stories? It's not just a story. I know I just said story, but it's not just a story. It's like historic, historical fact that they abuse these people due to uh, to to these mental disabilities and stuff like that. And it, and, and because it, they used like when they first started using the R word, it was also first used it as an insult and a medical term, but it fell out due to the fact of how many people realized through like research and uh, like and to, like actually like doing like looking through these things that hey, um, 
like we there are actual ways to help these people and using this word that we use as an insult and as a medical term in the first hand is a very bad word so we shouldn't just use it we should find other ways that it's not as disrespectful towards these group of people but once again that's your opinion based off something you're, 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 it's not you're trying opinion. to eliminate it's free speech that's what you're trying fact. to do yeah going and, back to her in, a, in the broader scope that's what you're trying to do you're trying to eliminate individual. words from the english language you're, not you're, going, the, you're going back to like making it seem like this is her as an individual thinking she really did it, 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 it is it is it's okay it's, not. Her. it's her simply temp- the funny thing is it's not just an individual thing i did my research and i realized oh Wait, this has actually been used in a very dehumanizing way, and people are really have really been told What's us that noise for background? a decade. I'm sorry for interrupting. Huh? There was some background noise. Oh, I don't know. Is it me? I have my thing. I couldn't really hear you. Oh, here's Hello. a better thing. I'm the not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Please, dude. I'm not finished. Let me finish really quickly. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you stopped. I'm sorry. I have my headphone against the pillow, y'all. I'm sorry if I was a little muffled. I was just going to say that um, it's not the fact that, like, it's not individual thinking. It's literally doing our own research and realizing that this has been used in a very dehumanizing way. Historically, people have been telling us for over a decade that it's wrong and that we should not be using this word. Okay, boom. It's okay, boom. Then we won't. It's dehumanizing. Like, it's not that hard to literally um, pick up on the fact that it's degrading. And I'm not sure why we're trying to like make this an individual thing when, like I said, for a word to be considered a slur, usually it is a collective agreement when it comes down to certain things. So what were you about to say about the N word? Okay, no, I was going to say, look, the, the, what word do you think is more damaging in human history, the N word or the R word? They're both damaging. Dude, does why does there have to be a competition? No, no, no. Which one you think it's not a more? competition. It's not a competition. They're both but damaging. I'm asking, it's, it's really question. not a competition. I'm, I'm trying to get to a point. Okay, so let me help. This is how I'll answer it. Historically, like, ha- historically, the N word has been used for centuries. However, that does not denounce the fact that the R word is still considered the slur due to its um, history on that itself. So, like and, I said, and, not a competition. So, and and basically, the N word has been more damaging, right? It's okay, historically so been uh, been used negative in a, in a while. Oh, okay, but now it's damaging. not, right? It's now it's damaging. not because it's all over music and videos matter. and all that it stuff, right? Pe- it has hurt people, and we shouldn't use it in a okay, story. Okay, that, that's <laughs> nice. But like, okay, but now the N-word isn't because it's all over videos and music and all that stuff, and people don't look okay, at it like that anymore. Okay, if I use it, it's a really bad idea. All right. What I'm getting so at I is that we it. give words power. We give words power. This word is hurting your feelings just, right now. It doesn't hurt everybody's feelings. You, want to use you it. give the power to the word that you want to give it to is my you, point. You're giving me the vibes that you want to use the word based on how much you're fighting for this. No, I'm giving the, the feeling that this is America and we have free speech. And that you're trying to eliminate words because it hurts your feelings. That's not the way the world works. It doesn't hurt. We my give words feelings. power. You're giving okay. this word power because you want to eliminate it from people saying it. Dude, I am not saying it hurts my feelings. Since when has it hurt my feelings? I'm you're, just saying okay. it, 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 it hurts the feelings of the people who are not here that you're people. speaking for. I am speaking for people who like agree uh, collectively that it is a bad word. And I'm not saying I'm offended by it. I'm saying it's just disrespectful to use it towards this group of people who agree uh, collectively that it is a word that is very dehumanizing. Have you taken a poll? I'm sorry. Like, have you taken a poll or something to get all these people's opinions? Could no, you keep saying that, not a poll thing. You why would it no because it's not a poll thing it's not a whether or not sure a poll she keeps saying or not. she's speaking for all these people who are these people where are they she's not speaking for the people she said that she just said that she she's saying talking that. That's about argument. in general yeah, outside of the these people she's talking about right. in general sir what's the argument yeah in general and that like you kind of like how you are not always like being literal i'm not being completely literal either i think we can I, get this from context clues Go but ahead, I never Henry. say I'm speaking right, for well. anybody but myself. Well, your opinion is your opinion. It's nobody else's opinion. My opinion is my, my opinion. It's nobody well. else's opinion. Okay, you and I go, so uh, like, if we had enough time, let, or, like, our theory go. Char, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my how bad. are you? I'm good, how are you? No sir? problem, my friend. 
Yeah. So the, the, my comment on the cis thing is I don't have a problem with it as long as people agree with it. Here's the thing. If a trans person wants to be called a certain way, if I'm obligated to call him or her or they a certain thing, and I can oblige people not to call me cisgender or cis that or cis this, do you understand that? If they can have the freedom of words, I can have the freedom of words. That, that's the point. But if people agree to use the term cis, they can agree with that. No problem. It's all about freedom. Freedom to straight people, freedom to trans people. Freedom doesn't choose people. That's my point. But my comment would be in the homophobia thing. I wanted to ask the host about that. You said homophobia is not a, about fear. So, for example, if I choose, for example, if I choose to dissociate myself from LGBTQ community willingly, as if uh, 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 exercising my freedom to take me, my family, and my uh, my friends mm -hmm. to dissociate myself from that community. Am I being homophobic? I'm so sorry. Um, if you, if yeah. you take your family out of sight of the community, is that what you said? Are you saying uh, yeah, you example, if, if, if my neighbors, oh. if my neighbors, yeah, for example, if my neighbors are part of the LGBTQ community and I don't want to live with them, I don't want to see that lifestyle, I don't want to expose my children to that kind of lifestyle, am mm -hmm. I being homophobic? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you are, but um, it's not out of fear. It's just out of uh, so it's just out of um, what, what I personally you want me to do. It's not out of fear. It's out of discrimination and it's out of prejudice and discrimination. I got you. What would you want me Wait, to do? Would you want me to live there by force? What what, what, what do I want you to do? I mean, it's not up to me. Yeah. I'm just simply telling you that within your hypothetical, it would still be considered homophobia. Because so, you still exactly. because you because you having LG because simply due to the fact that they were a part of the LGBT community, you decided to move yeah. because you quote unquote and by your own words did not want to be a part of that or did not wait. want to see that. So, precisely, yeah. wait, 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 wait. precisely. I yeah, I have a question for you there, blood. Who me or blood? blood. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Continue. As you're moving your family out and you're leaving this community. Are yeah. you are you yelling any slurs? Are you attacking any of your neighbors, or are you just up and leaving because you don't want to be in? That no, place? no, no. Yeah, without yelling, without insulting, without disrespecting, gathering up my stuff, selling my home, and moving out of that community for good. Okay. Well, that here's the thing: the gay person that would like still be now. homophobia because it's directly due to the fact that they were a part of the LGBT community. They really denounced the fact that their neighbor is gay or whatever the case was and decided to literally yeah. leave the fucking house due to that. Lit That's yeah, so literally. literally. <laughs> so, let me give you another example. Let me give y'all. you another example. <laughs> yeah, let me give you okay. another example. Go ahead. For example. Oh, oh what happened? I said denounce. I, Maybe I, the, I, the internet or something? No. Yeah, I don't know if he got kicked, y'all. I'm gonna be real. Like TikTok's been really weird and it said he was removed. But he's only been up here for like two minutes. Uh he he probably said something he shouldn't have said. Like that that's why you, you shouldn't say that word. I was about to say I was about to tell him don't say that word. Harry, that's no, word. But what, that's Harry, another that word. literally wasn't on TikTok. Harry, yeah, that yeah, literally wasn't me. Learning. They have TikTok. Please give me one second, y'all. Harry, that was not me. TikTok's been really weird. You should be able to jump back in a box. They said the host removed you or like on my end, it said you were moved to community guidelines. I did yeah, not so kick he, you. He, no, so but that's the thing. Reported. TikTok's been, I don't know if that's honestly the case, y'all. TikTok's been really weird the, like the last few days. Uh, TikTok has been like kicking people out of the lives. Um, so, Ari, if you're, if you're able to jump back in the box, go ahead. And, and Geek doesn't usually kick out people that way, okay? So, like, I, I, so, yeah, if you, that was the case, I would have kicked you out a long time ago, straight. <laughs> yeah, like but, you can. You, can, you have yeah, to be, like, I, you have to be really. I'm not sensitive. No, because no, I'm not going to kick you simply due to the fact that you're, you know, you have different opinions. It's not like you have insulted mm -hmm. me or disrespected me. Um, so no, you're good. Yeah, I don't insult. I'm just, I, I, I just don't believe in this new generation's way of thinking. It's kind of weird. So well, I'm I, I'm around your age yeah, range. Uh, or something really quick. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm 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 in your age bracket, Street. So we mm -hmm. we grew up around the same time. Um, I I don't think that the new generation's way of thinking is that is that bad. I mean, um, 
I, I get there are there is a bit of tone policing that exists in regards to words and how you're supposed to approach things. Mm-hmm. Um, I just don't go into those into those niche communities. I just don't surround myself with that. Um, so so is it something that the new generation has just overtaken the way you were raised and brought up? And your beliefs that you're like, um, you 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 can't handle everything that's going on, or like no, I can handle anything. I'm just gonna state my opinion because when when I see a whole panel of people who just agree with each other, and because I, I'm not sure why, but they they just do. I don't know if this one was or whatever, but if I see something, I have to come in with my opinion of like the, you know the world works another way, right? Like not everything is because you're saying it is, and and you think a whole bunch of people do. There's other people like me. Who I'm so I keep saying sensitive. I don't mean that in in a bad way, but I'm I'm just not a sensitive person. Words could never bother me that much to the point where I'm like that word right there should never be used again. Because where are we going as a society if we can't take words? If, no matter how they're said or how they're used or whatever, like what are you going to cancel next? Are you going to cancel like? Like, 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 what can you cancel after you, you, you're taking away a word from somebody? You can't use that word. Like, what's next? Okay. It's freedom. Cancellation so doesn't exist. Just, I'm just going to say let that. Mom jump in, let mom go. Does not exist. Yeah, she's been, let mom go, y'all, please. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Um, I just wanted to ask Street Scholar a quick question. So, <clears throat> um, I've seen you in a couple of lives, and I've seen some today, and... I want to know, do you really, because you just said it just now, you come into a panel and you see people that agree with each other and it's kind of like you're trying to disrupt the system. Do you really believe the things you say or do you say it for a shot? <laughs> no, I don't In say it for a shot. I, 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 um, are, are you done? I'm sorry. I didn't want to cut you off. No, you're fine. Go ahead. Oh no, I know. I honestly, but, but, but like, I I honestly think the way that that I'm saying is just that I just so happen to 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 hear it. Well, not everybody was agreeing with you because there was a guy, Jade, whatever. He didn't agree with y'all either, and he left. But when I was hearing it, I, I kind of agreed more with what he, what he was saying. And then we got into the discussion, and it's just so that I don't really agree with everybody in here with the elimination of words that that freaking i don't know hurt people's feelings i don't agree with that i'm with freedom for everything we're in america man this is the freest country in the world i I think so (laughs) why are we trying to like like cancel stuff and like even i know you just saying it it should be canceled it's not going to cancel it but just the fact that you're trying to say that and trying to say people shouldn't do this is weird it it, like it reminds me of the history books that i used to read and when you're trying to cancel things from people and you're trying to like limit their liberties it never leads to a good place okay i have something i want to say okay (laughs) what i want to say can i say something and then mom can go Mm -hmm. yeah all right so i'm just uh, there's certain like okay so when we're like quote unquote canceling something that's I think it's just for things disrespectful. If it's like simply for doing something that's very stereotypically to do, don't don't cancel that. That's just something that everyone does. But for uh, for example, like um, in in history, like especially in the early 1900s, um, there's there was this thing called blackface, and we can all admit that was a very dehumanizing thing to do, and we can all admit that was a very disrespectful thing to do, and we can all say that's something no one should do because you're making fun of a whole like people so that is something that we did like we all collectively decided that's canceled that we should not do and we shouldn't do it anymore like so for the word the r word since it's a disrespectful word to use against people who um like like who do have these mental disabilities and we can agree it's very dehumanizing we just don't use the word because it's a very dehumanizing thing to do okay, okay. Like, can we agree um, with that? no but wait 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 what, what you just mentioned never had anything positive to do with it at all but so, you're comparing something that was never positive, positive that was only used to humiliate a whole race word. of people to a, a medical term oh, Wait, but that's correct because neither did the R word have any positive yeah, connotation to it. So it's a medical term and it's a word. 
It wasn't, it was it wasn't medi- created to humiliate people. It was quote-unquote a medical term are used within the medical field to literally degrade and dehumanize those. That no, it's not. Though. No, yes, no, it was. No, Initial, y'all, there's literally... No, uh, yeah, no, y'all, it may have considered like to be intellectual and this, that, and the other it was. within the medical intellectual. field. Within the med- And I'm not denying that, but I'm saying within the medical field, historically, it's definitely been used to really dehumanize and degrade those, like people that weren't considered that. That's not... I don't think so. That's... Uh, what? <laughs> what? I don't think so. That's I don't think the, I don't think that word dude. was created in the medical field to dehumanize people. I don't think y'all. That. Okay, listen, Street. All I gotta tell you is do your research on this, please, because I learned this when I, I was know the fourteen. Word. I, looked it I up. learned like, this when I, I was fourteen I already know what the word means, but I looked it up too. Like, I learned it, this when it, I was fourteen. It wasn't made. Old. The, 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 there's no article okay. that says this word was created to make fun of people in the medical never... field. Like. This, for for the sure. for the that's, sake that's, of that's not what I said. Sake of playing devil's advocate and um, inciting discussion, the I just want to bring up blackface really quick. Blackface, yes, was absolutely ousted as um, offensive and deemed wrong, and then Robert Downey Jr. did it in Tropic Thunder, and then started as Iron Man a year later. <laughs> yeah, we didn't like that shit either. As, as much as people like, like to denounce that. A lot of people actually <laughs> denounced the fuck out of that, out of his character for that, like out of him and like the director that like put him in that position. That movie like, still made three hundred million. And, and now, no, I think the funny thing money, is, it's seen, it's seen as like it's seen as comedy now. It's seen as comedy because it's like, oh my god, it's like it's like um white chicks, right? We've we've all seen white chicks, right? <laughs> and how yeah. they put on quote unquote white face, right, to dress as these um. Um, white women, white women that were, um, you know, very South Valley girls and everything, very, very bougie and shit, right? And we thought that was hilarious. It was supposed to be the same thing when it comes down to uh, the tropical movie, whatever the fuck the name it was. Tropic but Thunder. people still, yeah, but people still denounce that. People were like, mm, this still made me uncomfortable. I understand that's supposed to have some comedic values behind it, but it's still wrong. Like that's and <laughs> like, and it's still definitely seen historically seen as something to degrade. De- 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 but the majority de- didn't denounce it. The majority didn't denounce it because the movie was a freaking blockbuster. Just because it was a blockbuster and it was very popular does not mean it's not dehumanizing. Okay, because you're sensitive. So uh, well, maybe, maybe it's very popular. A lot of people didn't it believe that. It was very that. niche at the time. But it hold was on, dehumanizing. We're going ahead, through Mom. two different things. We're going through two different things. <laughs> Like, I hear you guys with, like, the words dehumanizing and saying things. But when you talk about, so when we talk about things that have happened in specific eras of time, we cannot Mm -hmm. compare them to today. So Tropic Thunder was released in a specific time frame where that was not looked upon as something that was not funny. It was a funny thing at that time. Blackface was never funny, I believe. Yeah, so no, I, 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 don't, I don't know about that one, Mom. I'm not sure about well, that one, but... Well, if you're going, hold on. Stop. Scala, don't do it because mm-hmm. you're doing it right now. Stop. So you just said that it was a blockbuster, <laughs> right? Yeah. Now, I'm saying that it was done at a specific time when it was when people did not denounce it. And you just said Blackface was never allowed but you just said it was a blockbuster so you can't have both sides of the coin well you gotta i say it. that to say this not everybody's gonna agree with you when the when, when you guys were saying like the other uh marshmallow was saying oh people still hated that means people still went against that movie no they didn't obviously they didn't the movie did, is not banned anywhere you could see you could watch it right now on netflix or amazon or something like that but you this is what i'm getting at like your opinion doesn't dictate the world face. but you said blackface was never you just said it those never words. was I, I don't. I, I don't think it ever was. I don't think anybody has ever. I mean, I don't know how Robert Downey Jr. did it, but it was. If, it, if but, the movie did, a, if the movie was a blockbuster, that means somebody accepted it. Is so, that correct? Yeah, exactly. So the point. <laughs> the point within the movie is that all I'm saying is that we are in 2022. Is that 2022 has evolved. In 2022, do you think that Family Guy would have been able to come out? I think yeah. so. 
Two years yeah. ago, <laughs> just even two years Yo, ago. come on. We're not that sensitive. Y'all are crazy. Ago, two years when ago. Family Guy I came out with Family right Guy is funny sometimes. Listen, listen, real quick. Oh, wait. Like, All it takes is one likable person to do something. You know why Robert Downey Jr. got away with that? Because he was Iron Man that year. He could do whatever the hell he wanted to, and anybody would have accepted it. That's why he was but able to get away with that. But on a smaller scale, on a smaller scale, two years ago, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, did blackface? No oh, uproar, really? no cancellation. Hold up, hold up. Where, where? Did they, they wait? Did, did they really? It. I never watched it. I didn't know that. I mean, like we got Big Mouth, and like kind of like what uh, Nish says in the comments. We got Big Mouth. That's a very like weird, provocative, uh, uh, like scandalizing. Like, I just want to know scandalizing the show. So like it, it came out like a couple six. years ago, but it six. wouldn't. But but certain things wouldn't have made it in 2022. We have to come. Y'all to continue really. to say this, but this is really not true. <laughs> like what are y'all like? You brought up Family Guy, and I'm all I'm gonna say is nah. There's no way that y'all think that Family Guy's gonna be quote unquote. Oh, Does oh, Family Guy? We get quick, real quick. Yeah, so, so, guys so I, God, Family Guy made tra- made trans and LGBT very horrible jokes. What do you mean? Yes, I think it would. Be yeah, they also horrible. made a lot of racist and xenophobic exactly. jokes. They they literally put they literally dig their toe and everything. Just like because like the whole big the example, of Boondocks, but right? That, Boondocks is about is, making fun of everybody, just like Family Guy I'm was in the '90s till now. It was two different eras, two different we still places allowed certain things. Right. I'm pretty sure if like Family Guy, like on a societal level, was like deemed as like wrong or any any way, like if now society cancel culture is very like abroad nowadays. So I feel like Family Guy like would have been canceled if that's the case. Like with your no, story. definitely not. No, it's just that they're not. I still doubt it. No, I, I'm gonna still be real with y'all. As sensitive y'all, if y'all, as y'all, as a lot of people want to make this generation seem. That's <laughs> still not true. There's a reason why there's new seasons every like uh every exactly. year of family guy. There's still a reason why American is still is still getting pushed and everything. Because we can understand the nuance of these TV shows is literally to make fun of everybody that they do Even not leave, American, leave yeah. anybody out. Like literally the entire dad. point <laughs> is to literally make fun of American everybody. Yeah, still goes on to this okay. day and they've made American Dad is great in my opinion. Wait a minute. So because I just want to say like one more something. thing. Hold on. Because you like something, it's okay for them to make fun of everybody. But when you bring up somebody's name like Dave Chappelle, it's not okay for him to make fun of everybody. Well, Dave uh, Chappelle okay. kind of did like go on about the trans community very re- weirdly. Like so, like, so his but, whole career he made fun of everybody. No, he did. They, 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 was, like, Chappelle, something that Dave like he, like they did. I don't know what I feel about Dave Chappelle because I like I grew up on him and everything. Wait. I feel like his I feel like it was just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth simply due to the fact that and like even he's a good example. He makes fun of literally everybody, but there's a reason why people felt some type of way about his last special in 2021. There's a reason why yeah, I wanted to pay like twenty million. million. Well, well, like, okay. when his last special was kind of iffy, like. <laughs> Let like it's kind of like seeing that like like your right friend there. that's like a, like a like a class clown and then like they uh, and then they uh do something that's like agreed upon that's like very odd like it, 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 but they're still funny regardless but they did something that's very very odd and we can agree upon that's a very odd thing to do it, I don't think it was like odd that. not at all so, so I think Dave Chappelle was doing Dave Chappelle. Odd. It wasn't odd. It was it. He was deemed to be very detrimental to the trans community. Those were the words. That. That was Look, no, I'm not saying. That. That he wait, wait, was. wait, 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 wait. I'm not saying that he was. I said, I said, if you're saying that, you know, Family Guy was okay because it made fun of everybody, right? Dave Chappelle made fun of everybody, but everybody started to come out with him. Oh, he's transformative. He's he's a detriment to the trans society. That, well, there's that's what that, I'm saying. There's a difference between comedy wait, 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 wait. and insulting, and he, I, I believe he was kind of insulting the community, like, like, yeah. it, like insulting the trans community compared to like just making like a joke about the like the trans community. There's like two different things. Yeah. So he, can you tell me? So anybody here on this panel, anybody? Yeah. Can you tell me the specific joke yes. that Dave Chappelle said that was detrimental or went too far on the trans community more than anybody else that he has talked about? Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I can, can I can see it. So. Okay, what was it? 
Okay. Give me one second. I'm uh, just. And by just the way, guys, what's the topic? I'm. I'm I just kind of just stormed in. Like, what do y'all like? What's the whole topic? Hang on. Hang on. Oh, we kind of just kind of like. Um, we kind of what, what, went Dave, off. what Dave Chappelle specifically <laughs> okay. said was that he was a turf. I'm Team Turf. That was his exact quote in the special. For those of you that what aren't aware, that that's trans exclusionary radical feminist, meaning that he believes in feminism but not in regards to the trans community. He said that as his big punchline. And, I'm and, he, said, and he said, as his turf. <laughs> and he said, as that turf that you're talking about, he made another joke stating that the trans should have the same as feminists. Like, it wasn't a big, like, oh my God. He's saying exactly the same thing, that they should be treated how you treat the females that are in these rallies. How is that? I don't get it. I don't get why that was. And I feel like it's it like a big, it was okay. a big difference as between a, like comedy and bigotry. Like, you know, like. I, I just want to know one. I just want to know the joke. Anything that was so can horrible. be funny. Cause I'm what you laugh at is, is, is subjective. Anybody can find anything funny. Okay. Let me just, I, I got to make a point offensive. really quick. Let me just make a point really quick. South Park still regularly uses the R word, the F slur and transphobic uh, jokes. I love and South Park. And they get away Park. with it. And I love South Park. Y'all have a good <laughs> And that would, I mean, what, how did, oh, okay. what happened? No, no. no. Just that, like, he, he said he that because, himself off. he said he was, uh, like, he said goodbye, right? No, he didn't I say goodbye. I, I, I think dropped. he got kicked out. I didn't hear him. I think he was saying that to show that, guess what, not everybody thinks like that. Not everybody thinks like that. Like the the, the host, when she said that blackface wouldn't be allowed, I just pulled it up. In, in 2020, uh, it was always, always Sunny in Philadelphia, did a whole episode on blackface. I mean, whip back blackface. They weren't canceled. That was two years ago. Guess what? Just because you think like that doesn't mean the whole world like agrees with, your, with, with what you're saying. But like, like... I feel like on a societal level, like blackface is condemned as wrong. Like that's wrong. I I know. I believe that too. I believe. Okay. But I'm saying they got away with it. So there's a, obviously a lot of people out there who who don't have a problem with it. There, you can't speak for a certain community. You can't speak for a group of people. You can just speak to what you feel. So that, that that's what he was getting at with saying that South Park still uses these words. Guess what? There's a lot of people who aren't sensitive and don't believe what you believe. You could be as sensitive as, as you want, but not everybody's as sensitive as that. And it also goes back to just everyone's sensitive? opinions. What? Wait, I'm sorry, that, that was two people at the same time. Sorry. A street guy, street I said, what makes you sensitive? What rubs Nothing. you the wrong way? Nothing rubs me the wrong way at all. Nothing, Nothing in life? Nothing. Why? It's too short. Why, why would words you, you or what people say? What I, said, I, 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 say word, word, I did not say words. I did not okay. say words. I said, what rubs you the wrong way? Does anything rub you the wrong way? Like what makes me mad? Yeah, what makes you upset? Or what What? What do you want to fight against? Or what do you feel like? There's, listen, listen, listen. I, like, I'm, I'm an old person. Look, there's nothing to fight for. There's nothing to fight against. The world is going to keep ticking the way it's ticking. The world's going to keep spinning the way it's going to get spinning. It, the world's not worse or or better than it ever was. From the, the beginning of time to right now, and nothing has changed. Humans are humans. You People want to fight for something because they want to feel like their life is worth something. But other Wait than that, nothing is going to change anything. The world's going to keep Ooh. going the way it's going to keep going. In 2022 is the same as 1956? No. For some people, yeah. The, when you're considering the entire world, no. sure. No. Really? Yeah, when I... you're considering the entire world, like what are you talking about specifically? Okay, so I found out. Um, he made a joke about. Um, sorry for interrupting, but he made a joke how he couldn't go into um, um, into work with in the same office as people who are trans because he like he doesn't he's very confused and doesn't believe in that fact. I believe that trans people are actually trans. Are you talking um, about that? Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have so to look that's that. The, that he made a special. joke about that. Yeah, so I watched the special was... and I didn't hear anything about that, so I have to look that up. 
like it it's also on like certain news articles too like there was this one um time like i think i believe last year where he went into a uh, school um and everyone had to have their cell phones not on them and um he basically went on this rant towards these high schoolers about trans people and um the trans community and stuff like that and like um you know, and, like, these kids were basically kind of forced to listen to this for a whole solid hour, and they couldn't, like, record anything. Wow. Wow. I mean, but what I was he saying? Was. was he just talking about trans, or what was he saying? Was it positive? Well, the thing was it is, negative? it was a whole uh, auditorium of high schoolers who were, like, having their cell phones banned for a whole solid hour, so no one could record anything, but there is, a, like... A solid like three hundred students, I believe. Okay, so what was said? I, know, I literally what said what he he was basically ranting about like uh, trans people like like are not actually real and they're like um they're just sensitive to the to today's culture, I believe, and they um, can't just change themselves just because. Is that a bad thing, or is that a, like 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 what are you getting at? Well, there's this there's this thing where people believe that trans people are not actually trans, and they're just yeah. going along with pop culture because oh, it's a thing, it's a like a, it's a trend now to just change your whole gender for a whole like solid five year, like five years, you know, like you know, because it does take a while to like you know, take, do surgery and, like, also, like, um, publicly, like, you know, uh, like, um, you know, like, show yourself as the actual gender you want to be. And people think this is a whole trend and they don't think it's actually real. Okay, so uh, are you saying that Dave Chappelle shouldn't say his opinion? I, I'm saying it's an actual fact that trans people are real and it's not just an opinion. Yeah. Okay, but are you I mean, saying Dave Chappelle opinion. shouldn't state his opinion? That's what you're saying? He shouldn't state his opinion to a group no, of kids? I don't think she's saying that. I think she's saying it's more of like like Dave Chappelle is going around claiming, like he's saying his own opinions, but it's not factual. Like it's not, like he's he's feeding the wrong, like he's feeding the wrong crowd, especially to like high school students. Wait, wait, like, of course your opinion wouldn't be factual. It's your opinion. How would an opinion be factual? But, what does that mean? Like, okay, we can it's, agree with it's it. Like, we can read this information. Book. It's more of no, spreading you, information. I don't want to agree to disagree. I want to know what you're trying to say. His opinion is his opinion. You can't say okay. his opinions his are opinion facts. His, his, his opinion is based no, off his, his opinion information. Is, and if, and that is true, Maya. It, but also, if, her, if his opinion is saying that trans people aren't real, then that's simply a like misinformation and simply factually incorrect. Why? But according so, to you, it's not an according opinion. To you. Trans people actually exist. That's well, a fact. technically, so technically it's according to science and history, but you know, yeah. whatever. Biology that doesn't mean anything, though. That doesn't mean like, anything. Not, here's the thing: right. we can read the same history book, and we can have different opinions on how exactly. like that person should have made that. a decision. So we can also agree to look at like facts about, um, like uh, like. Um, biological facts about trans people and how, oh, this can have, uh, have affected to this thing and how this person can have experienced this due to this um, situation that's going on. Right. Um, what Chappelle was going on was because, oh, because he doesn't really think that people can change their, gen their gender due to this, like, um, um, it, like, like this quote-unquote thing that's going on, that mm -hmm. it's not actually real. So... Basically. And you think he's wrong, and he shouldn't say that. Well, he should have researched it before he went and made a joke like he usually yeah. does. I, I think you want a very interesting word. You want to ban words. You want to ban speeches you don't agree with. Who are you? <laughs> Sir, yeah. now, this is, you're strawmaning again. You know no, I'm not. Okay. This is what I'm hearing. Like You, you, you want to ban a lot of stuff. So you, now you, you want a grown man not to, to give his opinion. Specific thing. She's saying, you're saying that she wants to do this specific thing, that she wants to put this out when it's already out there, sir. <laughs> Some of these words or some of these things is already denounced. Not that it's completely banned, but it's completely denounced because, you know, freedom of speech. 
pretty much speech, you can say what the hell you want, right? However, does that mean that you don't have the consequences of your actions, of your behavior? But she thinks he's wrong. Say? Because he doesn't share the same opinion as you, you think he's no, wrong. It's not about him not sharing his opinion. It's not about whether or not he was being wrong. It's simply factually being correct on like his information. Him what, saying that trans people are you not want him real to believe your is factually incorrect. It's simply but, factually incorrect. It's but not, that's it's based not, off of what you not, want to believe. No. Okay, no. sir. No, okay. sir. Okay, what they're saying is right. Okay, so if he, he's going around spreading misinformation about trans people to a, a, a group of high school students. That is that is wrong to do because not for one only he's. It's his misinformation for one, and it's scientifically wrong. Like trans people do exist, so why is he going to spread misinformation? There's articles just based, for everything. Just based off of his own opinion, right? There's you articles for everything, though. I mean, so what, what, okay, we read something what article different? was telling you that trans people aren't real? Hey, I'm not saying I agree with me, it. I'm just saying let me know. his opinion. He, he could believe his opinion to be fact. Like it's not you, okay to spread misinformation to a group of high school students. Okay, that's your that's, opinion. That's right. No, but not like not you okay. said yourself, Street. No, but that's kind of funny because, like you said yourself, for I feel like maybe a few minutes ago, that facts are not that opinions are not facts, and facts are uh, uh, facts are not opinions. Yeah, those are two different things. So mm -hmm. him spreading his opinion is, uh, and he's talking about a specific group of people and making it seem like they're not real. He's literally. Incorrect. That's not an opinion at that point. That's simply misinformation. No, it's like, your opinion that he's incorrect. He, he could believe he's correct. You know you oh could be God. wrong, right? There's a different right, like you said, there's a difference between a fact and an opinion, right? And his his opinion hey, Mona. is wrong. I mean he's factually wrong. Like trans people do exist in this society. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. like they don't exist. So he can't just go spread misinformation to people without it being factually correct. Like his opinion, his opinion. Beliefs his opinion. aren't facts. Hey, Mona. What do you mean? Um, you you, what comment. you believe, just because you believe it to be fact, doesn't mean it's a fact. No, you it's, could not, be wrong. it's not a belief. It's, it's, not a, it's literally not a belief. This, this is not something that we just have to believe out of thin air. This is literally scientifically proven. And the fact that we are trying to deny it, it's, it's literally insane to me. And honestly, well, I mean, somebody doesn't why, believe that science. That's okay. Well, then you just don't believe They have science. some problems because yeah, uh, that's, that's also funny. now they have a problem. This is what I'm getting at. Like you, you want yeah. the, you want you know, to see the yeah. way the yeah, world. Yeah, the you want to see the way the Absolutely. You at this point, I don't care. At this point, I don't care. Yep, they absolutely have a problem. They or they're not able to literally. Uh, so, they they cannot agree with science and the uh, information, the stats, the studies, no. the data that back them up. Then okay, that's fine. <laughs> But I'm I mean, not, but you're like, just saying that science it is, it that, that, that doesn't really mean anything. Like, I don't Some see anything that proves that science. Why? They, why? They there's research and data. There's research and data to, to back it up. So. People have a profession for a reason. They prove they well, prove we do know that they're. Yeah, I don't. Listen, well, I don't know. That? I don't know what the argument here is at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Uh, <laughs> mom, did you want to say? Did you want to say something really quickly, mom? Um. Yeah. I just. I. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we can. Okay. Um, I was just simply stating everyone's, everyone's point. I even see Skylar's, which I never thought I would, but I see Skylar's point a little teeny bit. Um, but like when you say that people don't go against the science, you know, it's science that is true. I get it. But we also have to understand that there are still people who believe more about and I'm not saying it's right, but they do believe more of their religious beliefs instead of science. That is true. And I'm not denouncing that. I'm not denouncing that at all. So but, if, we, but we can I'm also make the fact that, so that, that when it comes down... Oh, I'm not denying that. Religious belief is just based off of belief. That's why it's religious belief. Also, when it comes down to right, science, right. that's not science for it to even be a thing. It's based off of data, research, stats, and studies. In history, yes. Um, so that that's why I'm saying those are two, two. Even that to me is a little that's so different when it comes down when we're speaking about the existence of something or whether or not something is true or not. And from what we've seen in the last several decades, is that trans people are real. <laughs> so you know, I don't know. I don't know what the argument also, here is. 
also I want to put in that religion is not like it, you can't prove religion, but you can prove science. It's it's, it's there. It's written down for you. It's you can't there. prove science because you, you're just reading it from a book like anything. I could show you 10 books about no. 10 different gods that exist. Doesn't mean that any of them are true. Just like a science book. You're not going to go test the science. You're just going to read that the science is true. But, but science like is the text. Wait, no, no, but that's that's the actually, and now at this point you're being disingenuous because for no, I'm not. Be a I'm being yes, let Wait, me explain street. to you what's the hypothesis. Then? Let me explain to you why why I believe, and this is a belief at this point that you're being disingenuous because when it comes down to God's death, based off of a belief, simply a genuine opinion that nobody's able to actually back up. There is no data, there's no research or studies or history behind that. However, when it comes down to science, there is genuine research, data, studies, and articles to actually back that? up most cases that it is. No, Maybe but why do you believe that? We're actually able to look it up and do the research on our why? own. Are you actually but in a book, right? We, science? But we found serious? out the Earth is round, right? So that's a sign. I don't like, know if the Earth is round. I've never been outside this planet. At this point, I, I, I feel like this, I feel, this, this is why I think you're you you are trolling okay, you this right now. No, I'm not. I'm not trolling. I'm just being honest. Like you, you guys you think you have all the answers right? because somebody else said it. That's not the no, way the world great. works either. A serious question: Are you a flat earther? Please tell me you're not. I'm not nothing. You just said that we know the Earth is round. I don't know that. You don't know that either. We never oh, have you ever been outside of this planet. Earth. Okay, so why I'm not anything. I don't. I don't even think about that. Why do these professions exist? Why? Why does science? Why is science a thing then? If why is we, science if we're a thing? If it's not provable, why is religion a thing? It's a belief. And what science. is science? Science. Okay, is based fact. off a of theory. Okay, is fact. Fact. but when you get a we're science book, evidence. did you go out yourself and test the science thing. yourself, or are you just reading the book and believing what's in the book? No, it's not like I said. It's not, not just about research. the book. It's not about the book. It's the fact that they really Isn't have there? to do That's research. That's where you're getting your information from. Do you know? Do you know what scientific theory is? Do you know what scientific theory is? Yeah, you're, you're not going to get around from what I no, just said. No, I'm asked. No, you, please, you test the, the science in the books that you you're reading, know, or no, you just you, believe it. Just sense, like, like going, somebody who believes the Bible. Into this? Street, are you able to answer this? Do you know what scientific theory You're is? You're not answering my question. You you just giggled and stopped just because you know it. what I'm getting at. I mean, I, no, I don't because I science really science. answered your question multiple times. You said, well... No, so you test the science just... in the science books Street, that you read please, to, to make it true. Okay, let me answer your question. Let me answer your question bluntly so there's no confusion. You just asked us, um, isn't it a belief if we just look at a science book? Mm -hmm. Is that correct, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I said no, because when it comes down to that book, there is data, research, and history behind it. How do you know that? That's it. <laughs> because exactly. Maybe, How do you know that? I'm, I'm, I'm laughing a little bit because, I mean, like, just, I guess we would have to, quote, unquote, assume. If you want me to play this game, Assume, there you go. Just like somebody it, who opens up a Bible assumes you know, that no, God is I'm, I'm, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm saying, quote, unquote, assume, <laughs> although the fact that there's actually stats and studies and articles and history and research and data based off of what, like, off of certain things that we're talking about within science. So, compared, to religion, about everything. compared to religion, is there data the Bible, compared? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. No, you can. I honestly right? think that they're just going to, we're going to be in circles with this guy. But basically what she's saying because is. Because like, I don't right. believe what you believe. I'm sorry. That's not the way the world works. Not everybody's going to believe what you believe. So you, you're believing believe in a science book science like somebody science would believe a religion book. Earth you're not looking around. into it. You're just reading it. I can't speak to you. I know you can't because I come with reason. I'm sorry. I just don't believe what, what you reasoning? believe. So belief, okay. So I, I'm just going to say this, and that it's okay if you don't agree. But usually when it comes down to belief, that is based off of opinions, and that's based off of just something, uh, something that people... Like, um, well, just belief, period. It's just something that people believe in. It's not something that people are able to back up have historical meanings behind on a genuine factual level or evidence. However, when it comes down to science, you would have to have data, evidence, and everything behind that, which is why people would usually rely on science than just on a simple belief because they're actually able to find the data on that. So that's the reason why I feel like those are two different things. Belief yeah. in science is usually separate. However, if we're talking about scientific, scientific theory, there is a belief of peonated system within that, but even within that system, you would have to back it up with factual data. History you know books are wrong according to y'all, but science can't be. No. Well, oh, of course not. Of course, because wait, science, science, that? science is undeniably the wait, person who doesn't lie. Uh, no, who said that? 
Ren, shut I, up. Nobody said who said that. What are you talking about? No. I just read a really good comment that made a lot of sense. That that just I saw the, I saw the comment too. That. I saw the comment too, but that's not even what we're talking about. And who's denouncing? No, that is that's, that's exactly what we're talking about. No, Listen, no, no, it's not. You always want to use history. something to their benefit. You're so using street. science because that right now okay. you think it works. We are to your pivoting benefit. right now. I don't know how you focus on that conversation. We are pivoting right now. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to see if we're able to actually focus on one conversation. So when oh, it comes my, down to my this mind's big enough to uh, uh, absorb everything. I'm hearing everything and reading everything. That's fine. I don't want to move to. That's fine. In high school. How are you expecting and you to absorb anything now? You're talking about a book. You're not doing research on. You're just reading. Have you never Which is my point. You can say it has data. You can say it has Street. notes. You, that doesn't mean anything. Street. That's still in the book. You're believing Street. something Wait, because second, it backs please. up what you want to believe. Just Wait. like anybody else who believes in a religion. Wait, Street, please hold on. What book are you talking about? Any book you're talking about. Because you're like I said, We're you're not, not going out and doing okay, it, doing the science you, yourself. You're the funny thing is you're bringing up a book and nobody's bringing up a book in particular. So what are you talking okay, about? Okay, so when you say the data, where are you getting this data from? Are you okay. printing it now out of your body like a cyborg or something? Where where is this data at? Studies on the what? internet, websites, Where's the data that doing we're your own research. To look up. Where? Where is it? It's not a specific. It's not a you specific. You can go to a library. You can about. go on the internet. Wait, what's in can... a library? Books. 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 Oh, Computer. Really? Okay, Books. this is in a book. Computer. We're getting somewhere. Research reports. <laughs> data that you're able to look up. Why do you believe the data? Like, why do you believe the data that's in the book? I'm sorry. Like, wh wh where are you going are you with troll? this? Okay, so why I'm do not you a troll. troll. I'm, you, why do you you, you, somebody just said in here they don't believe in history, but they believe in science just because it's it it it, it, it it's trying to like. It's Wait, trying to certify what you believe. Who said that? Who said who's, that? No, who said that? Genuinely, that's why I was confused when Ren made that comment because no, we nobody said that. Historical facts, like with well, some of the first point. I don't know where you're getting at the. Yeah, fact but Ren said that. that. It, 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 it still that was a term of what I'm saying. You're believing the book. Take a historical fact, like about certain things. So, like, what are you speaking of? That was Ren that brought that up, and um, just be and, and it's kind of funny because the entire point of talking about science is that it's also historically backed up. Huge example: uh, dinosaurs. We are able to scientifically and historically back that up that they existed. We dug up their right? bones. Yeah, evidence. exactly. Literally Research. evidence that is literally within data. science itself. We can that is data. That is, that is science. That is they have a science. That's part of science, yes. sir. That is that's really. a form of science and biology. Yes, it is. Who do you think dug the the, the field? Who do you think dug the dinosaurs it's up? Like who, who did the dinosaurs I, I, up? Because I know what their names is, and they're not scientists. Like, look up. Oh my okay. god! Okay, so, scientists uh, research the bones and the artifacts that come from like like historical sites. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, sure. I mean, like, who so do you think discovered gravity? Like. <laughs> Archaeology. Yeah, you know I was waiting for somebody what, to say it, but not, nobody said it. Do you know it. who like, Do you know where archaeologists are? Do you There's, know who are, oh archaeologists are? A form of science, exactly, Jim. It's literally a form of science, sir. <laughs> why um, were you, I didn't. Why I didn't say it wasn't. I, I was going off what this girl said. She said, "Who you think dug up the bones?" And I said, "They weren't science. They, they weren't scientists." Yeah, and we yes, got they literally we were. Actually, <laughs> that they were so. <laughs> Use history I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm giggling because I just thought that was funny. I was like, I why okay, so why are we talking about dinosaurs now? Because uh, totally? now you're reaching. You're no, it was, I brought, no, no, I'm not even reaching. I brought that up specifically to prove a point when it comes down to how science works and how it's not based off of just simply a belief system or a book. They People actually go out and find evidence and data to back it up. That's where I was going with that. I thought you were going to be able to pick it up because that's like the one thing that we know Jesus, call it science was able to actually come in. So, Okay, well, Sorry, I'm not comparing dinosaurs to trans people, so I'm not sure what I'm is. not either. What is that's the point cool. of connection then? I, I know, and the funny thing is I'm not either. We were even talking okay. like, within this conversation we were talking about now seeing science as a whole. We're yeah, we were. Simply we're trying right. to, right. I was, yeah. Right. So that's I wasn't trying to compare that. If anybody felt like I was, I'm sorry. It kind of don't try to stop me, Street. Don't try to stop me, Street. That was just yeah, her the host is confusing. Theory. I was confused too. I didn't know where she was connecting that. No, well, the funny thing is, I wasn't. Well, the funny it wasn't out of nowhere because you were completely denouncing science, and I I brought that up as an example to prove our point that it's not something that is just based off of a belief.
And in case anybody's confused, my point is like we were going off of beliefs and facts. What I'm going after is your beliefs are from books, which uh, which some people have beliefs that are from books that some people don't believe in. Some other people don't believe in. This is what I'm getting at. You're you're all all of you are getting it out of books just because you believe your book is fact doesn't make it fact. Just because they okay. believe your book is a belief, it doesn't make it a belief. You can say that all you want until you're blue in the face. You're still then getting it from a book. You don't okay, know if that's true or not. You, right? But, data, but no, no, but you, you know what data is based off of? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you know what data is based off of? In research? Yeah, and what you know what research is based off of? Um, work? Evidence. Evidence. Uh, when people do research, they actually have to go out within a specific field and like actually research that. As in, like, actually find, try to find evidence to back up that data. That you know, data comes forward when okay. people are actually able to pick up on something that's factual, on something Do that you know, can actually listen, um, listen. apply, like, that is true. And you Do you know Coca-Cola used to have cocaine in it? And yes, they only did, stopped doing it that. because Coca-Cola would have to put that they were putting cocaine in their soda. So you're trusting these people you don't know a little bit too much they're on doing their research. So now you're pivoting. Now you're pivoting. I'm not sure. I'm just saying. Well, okay, we all know that. What was the point of bringing that up, actually? If you don't because, mind, because I mean, you're putting a little bit too much belief into something that you don't know about. You're, you're, you're saying, oh, they have to do, they have to do research, they have to do this. How do you know they did any of that right? Like, okay, um, I, 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 think I, I, you guys no longer know what right. the conversation. Are you really thirty-four or thirty-six? Okay, so <laughs> hold on. Right, <laughs> can you guys hear okay. me? We can yeah. hear you now, mom. Um, Geek, thank you so much for a great conversation. I appreciate it. It was very um, for adult <laughs> for for the most for the most part. <laughs> um, I'm gonna drop. I let somebody else come up because it's just going around in circles. Yeah, because I told no, you, I street knowledge just goes with the opposite. I don't. I I'm don't want to call you. Well, I, I honestly well, never heard of him, but now I'm seeing a lot of people have been saying in the comment section that he does this a lot. So street, I don't oh. know how to feel about you now. <laughs> My first time right. seeing this dude, so I don't know. But thank, thank you, Mom, either way for coming on. I do appreciate you coming in and adding your two cents. Thank Wait, you, you for the conversation. What about me? Absolutely, you have a good one. You you said people said what about me because I'm not catching it. You a like lot to go of people still. have been a lot of people have been telling you know like just adding in the comment section that you do this a lot that you like to pivot and straw man. And add little your two cents when it's not has nothing to do with the conversation. No, I actually it's just I give my opinion a lot, and a lot of people don't like my opinion. Like I say the same what I'm saying about science is the same thing I say about the Bible. I mean, the people can get mad. My opinion isn't going to change. So yeah, I, I, I stay on the I stay on the same course. Claims to back it up, and the Bible does not. None of it does actually. You're just believing people you never met before, kind of like the Bible is. No, like you're believing no, people you never met before different. saying that they saw somebody fly Why? to the sky, so people, and you're believing somebody you never met before saying that they did research. Okay, you're just going on a monologue. Let yeah. Scott go. I know the truth. First. Wait, before before <laughs> Scott, did you want to say anything to like the conversation? I know you've been waiting in the queue. Like, will we start talking about this, Scott? Hello. Wait, one. Hi. Uh, you going out? I'm sorry. Do you want to meet and uh, meet yourself? Okay. Oh, I, think oh. I think they probably need to go jump back in something probably with TikTok or yeah something. I don't know. And like I said, it happened again, y'all. For some reason, when people leave on their own, it's saying that TikTok removed them. When I know they did not remove him because he wasn't even up here for five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, so and we're, TikTok's been really he wasn't doing anything either. So that's a bummer. Well, it doesn't seem like he's coming back. Uh, but oh, all no. I just wanted to say that, uh, that's fine. All I just want to say at the street that, honestly, um, <laughs> like, I don't know what we were trying to argue when it came <laughs> down to science and not uh, when it comes down to how that, how science is backed up. Um, but when it comes down to going back to the Dave Chappelle and why people felt so strongly and like about that and kind of denounced his... Um, you know what he said it's just simply due to the fact that if he's denouncing a whole group of people and saying that they're not real then that's really just denouncing like not that's like just denouncing them as a whole that's like that is disrespectful i understand that it's a you know it's a comedy show and anything go anything that goes goes right however um i per i guess i would say my i personally i see why people felt strongly about that so yeah 
I don't know if anybody else wants to speak on it, but I mean, I'm... we could go on to the next topic if you guys would like to. Well, we yeah, uh, we can go on the third topic. We we kind of been like like going on about the first two topics, sort of. Mm-hmm. So oh, the first two. Why does it I kind of like I kind of consider transphobia like kind of near the same yeah. category. Oh, as streets, are you? Do you not believe in systemic racism? Somebody just made that comment. Uh, what does that mean to you? Uh, institutionalized racism, like redlining. I can think of prison system. I can think of how policies uh, are still somewhat set in place, or how nah, old I, I, white I, I, men. I believe how, old, how older white men specifically, or like older people that are still trying to uphold these racist policies um, in place as of today. I can think of that on an institutionalized power level. Do you denounce believe, that? No, yeah, I denounce that. I believe more in classism. I think it has more to do with money than it does with race. I mean, I will not deny the fact that classism plays a big part of Mm-hmm. Uh, that, but also classism also is a form of racism. <laughs> when we think of like what are the no uh, the no wait are, why would that be? Are, are you trying to say go, that that BIPOC two, people are poor? The two go hand in hand due to the fact no, that no, no, see, that's, the, that's not a good thing to say. Are, no, I'm, no, I'm not even trying to say that they're poor. I'm just saying that unfortunately, historically, BIPOC people have been put in poverty. Historically, no. they still are in poverty. No. Yeah, no, they're not. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe yeah. that. It's a, That's true fine. It's a. You don't have to believe it. I'm just simply telling you the history. <laughs> like, I don't what? believe that. I mean, you know, no, yeah, sure, it's history, but I don't believe as of right now, 2022, I think it anybody who wants to be in poverty is there because they want to be. Well, unfortunately, it is something that we're still trying to get out of. You know, when we think of gentrification and how that is specifically something that people are dealing with within, quote unquote, these poverty communities. Um, it is something that we're like redlining is specific within these communities and everything or within these areas um so it is something that we're still dealing with today um on a even on a systemic level so i'm not i, I just wanted to throw I, that out there i i think we're, we're we're in the year that is based off of money and if you have the money you're going to get out of situations if you're not you're not if you have the money you're not going to deal with certain situations you're not going to live in certain neighborhoods you're not going to i don't think we could keep using the same excuse as Oh, this I, is I mean, built like that. It's been too many years for that. If you don't want to be in a certain place, guess what? You wouldn't be there. If you don't want to be in a, in a certain class, you won't be there. What about people yeah. who that pay easy, that that aren't able to save up to move somewhere so, where they want to be? This is, like, this is like saying, and I'm going to be real with you, this is like saying, and I know that we heard it all in 2016. Well, if you don't like it here, then just leave. Do you have leaving money? So. <laughs> I mean, you know, get up and leave like that. Not really. Like, is it I that, say, is it no, no, that easy? I wouldn't say that. Honestly, that, 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 that that's not. I, I'm going more at people who use their circumstances as an excuse, but like, I'm never gonna, I, I can't do nothing because I'm here. Like, again, you don't want to do yeah, anything. No, no, no. That's why you're all never I'm gonna get out of it. That, it all I'm saying is that it's a very easy thought process to say that, well, you can just leave a, like, a, a, um, what am I trying to say? Like, an area that you're in because it's just, you can. Easy, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, it's not as easy, especially when around you, there's only so many job uh, jobs that you're able to take. There's only so many. There's a, there's only so much education that is that is offered to you. It's not as easy as you know people are wanting to make it out to be. Yes, people are lucky to make it out of those things. Sure. However, it's not an easy go lucky thing. It's I think people are just lazy. <laughs> and, 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 and I say this as a, as a BIPOC person like, let, let's not even let, let, let's talk about people who look like me right there's a lot of people who look like me that have a bunch of kids keep going keep going and then when they're so stuck in the hole they're like why me and they because just keep doing the same dead end job staying thing. in the same neighborhoods and they never do anything to get out of it they just street. sink themselves in a hole that they can't get out of street if someone lives a certain way in life for the like like from a young age and that is all they know and they try to grow up as an adult and they try to get out of the situation but they can't due to financial situations they're going to fall back on what they know as a way to like secure themselves because <laughs> i'm not sure if i said that correctly but basically, yeah i don't think you're saying that like, like generation like sorry sometimes like i stutter and ramble and they kind of confused my points um, you have george foreman's daughter paying you <laughs> shut up <laughs> but um, 
what uh, what I'm basically trying to say is if people like like see all around them that a, a certain thing they're going to fall back on that thing they know and what they know is is this community that, uh, community that they have lived in all their lives and um this fi- uh, like in their financial situation is a ha- of what they know all their lives and stuff like that it's it's something they're going to fall back on and it's hard to gain what you don't know of I'm sorry. I'm probably just not making any sense. Look, look, I mean, look, you're not. You're, you're not. But I, I get kind of what you're saying. But that's called life. Life is hard for everyone, unless you're born into some dynasty or something. Nothing is handed to you. So there's no excuse. Like, oh man, it's a little bit too hard. But no, it's not. It's for everybody. Get up, do something, and get out if you want to get out. If you don't, then stay there or or or, or keep doing what you're doing every day. Oh. No, like nobody's a baby. Nobody needs to be taken care of and put to sleep at night with a bottle. Life is hard for everybody. There's no excuses for nobody. It's 2022.